Uh, yes, sir! It's back to back Camp Orange with the Camp Orange Camp Out. G'day, guys. Dave here. Picture this a camp on a faraway island filled with action, adventure, mystery, and best of all, no parents. That's exactly what eight kids, four teams of best friends, are coming here to find. Hundreds of kids from around Australia sent an audition tape to Nickelodeon to be a Camp Orange, and it really was tough to choose the final eight. Some performed, some chased chooks, some were willing to do just about anything. I'm getting in touch with my feminine side. But in the end, there could only be four teams of best friends. Demi and Julia, energetic dancing queens from south of Sydney. Because we have a positive attitude and we never, I repeat, never give up. Tandy and Alicia, street smart, fast talkers from the inner city. Chaka chaka yay. And like, we're like sisters. Can you see the resemblance? Identical twins. Jack and Mick, the outdoorsy country boys from Inverell. And what makes Mick scared? When probably bulls look at you and you know they're going to come at you. Andrew and Will, total nickheads from Tassie and wannabe hosts. Oh, he loves his hair. He shakes his too long and everything. Oh. These are the lucky eight. They are in for the adventure of a lifetime and we'll be with them all the way. From sun up to sundown to find out who's going to be the <laughs> ultimate Nick camper and take home the grand prize. This is not your average camp. This is Camp Orange. Going. I'm Dave. I'm Demi. Demi and Julia. how are you? What's your team name? DJs. The DJs because of Demi and Julia. Yeah. Oh, I'll work it out now. Step to the side, guys. We'll meet Thank some of the you. other campers. Hello. Hello. Alicia. Alicia. Hello, Alicia. And, and Tandy. And Tandy. What's your team name? Frizz and Skits. Frizz and Skits. Frizz Skits. Why Frizz? Because I have curly hair. Oh, do you? Under, under that hat. Yeah. We'll see you later on. Step yeah. to the side, Frizz and Skits. Hey, fellas. Hi, my name's Jack. Jack, how are you, Jack? Good morning. Hey, Mick. Mick, how are you, Mick? Yeah, pretty good. How are you guys The Bush doing? Bashers. The Bush Bashers? Yeah. So you're from the Bush, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? You looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Step aside, guy. Oh, hello, hello, fellas. Hi, I'm Andrew. Andrew. And? Hello, I'm Will. Will, how are you guys going? Good, thanks. Now, what's your team name? Um, Club, Club Sandwich. Club, Club Sandwich. Yep. For any reason, or you just thought? Yeah, I just thought, thought of it. Just the first thing that came into yeah, your head. Yeah, That's fair enough. Makes a lot of sense. Yep. Step to the side. Welcome to Camp Orange, guys. Now, we're going to discover what you guys are really made of. You're going to be camping out every night and we're going to find the ultimate Nick Camper with a series of challenges. Who's the ultimate Nick Camper here? Yes. We are. Who is? We got well, you all can't be the ultimate. We are. Well, we've got challenges to sort out who's going to win it. Being the ultimate Nick Camper doesn't mean you're the best at starting fires, cooking sausages, tying knots or digging holes. You've got to be good at everything. You've got to have a bit of a sense of humour. Who's got a sense of humour here? Yes. We have. All right, you've got to be good at getting messy. Who's good at getting messy? Yeah. Are you ready for Camp Orange? Yeah. All right, do you want me to show you the camp? Yeah. Come with me, I'll show you. It's just through here. See that sign there? That's not the camp. We keep going through. See the fork in the road? We've been best friends for a while now, and, yeah, we just thought it would be great fun to come on Camp Orange. Like, I'm really excited about, like, the activities and stuff. What do you think is going to be there? Do you think there's going to be... Uh, oh, uh, unmade tent. Unmade tents. I think it's about having fun and friendships and staying as a team and staying strong. It's going to be really fun, and especially doing it with my best friend Julia, it's going to be even funner. What makes you think you, you're going to be lucky enough to even get a tent? I knew that Jack wouldn't get me into anything bad, and I thought it would be always good fun because Jack and me would have a go. Really, really good friends with me. Are we there yet? We might have to eat witchetty grubs. Or we might have to set up, set up a tent and I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not good at setting up tents and that's scary. This is it. How's it look? Oh. Oh. Do you like it, Nan? Oh. 
What do you think? Should we go and have a look? That's what a perfect tent looks like. Okay, guys, this is the gathering circle where we're going to gather at the end of each day at Camp Orange. And this is the camp. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Ooh, yeah. yeah? It's flat. It's yeah. flat. It, it needs a bit of work, doesn't it? Yeah. Which brings us to the first challenge. Now, each day at Camp Orange, you're going to be competing in two challenges. There's the Champions Challenge and Game Orange. And I'll get to the Game Orange a bit later on. If you win the Champions Challenge, you're going to get one of these. Oh. Do you know why these are important? Yeah. The team who takes home the most of these is going to be crowned the ultimate Nick Camper and take home the grand prize. Now, today's Champions Challenge is setting up the camp. I'm going to be the ultimate judge and it comes down to my decision. So we're not looking for the best tent, the strongest tent. I'm just looking for flair. I'm looking for something nice. I'm looking about how you go about the task. You've got 15 minutes to do it. Oh, and I remember, there's also a little twist. What's that? Oh, that's right. You're going to be tied together with a bungee cord. Yeah. So you're going to have to communicate and do it as a team. Come over here. Your tents are over here. The team I decide does the dodgiest effort in each day's Champions Challenge must spend the night in the dodgy tent. All right, campers, you got 15 minutes and your time starts. All right, the teams have started well, but being tied together is causing a few problems. <laughs> and Club Sandwich are pumping and pitching at the same time. Good idea. A bit of tangle here. No, we're not. We know what we're doing. We're professionals. It looks like the boys have done a bit more camping than the girls. I think something else should be in there. No, go in there. What are you nailing in? That's not your peg there. Have you got your pegs in? What pegs? You got your ten pegs there? What are they? These guys really have to impress me if they want the Champions Challenge badge. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. One's already going up. Bingo. Good teamwork there. Five minutes have gone. Just over five minutes. Oh, look at this. That's what the tent should look like. Who cares about stupid thing? Time is ticking away. Would you leave it over here? Just leave it to me. Okay. Put these inside those holes. You built your tent on a rock. No, the tent was placed on a rock. Yeah. Well, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Finally, Frizz and Skids are getting their tent up. <laughs> Even Mick can't believe it. <laughs> oh, fellas, what's going on? We need these thingies. I'm pretty sure thingy isn't in the instruction book. Make it stand up. That's all we need to do. That's perfect, guys. That's it. That's done. Stay in the hole. Just put it in the hole, Demi, and let go. Oh, I'm not too sure if that's going to hold up. No, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. How do you guys do that? Five minutes. you got five minutes left. That's the door, Demi. Take it. Hey, here's a surprise. The DJs have got theirs up. Oh, the structure here is quickly coming up. You guys have done well. This is an impressive comeback. Come with me. I know we're both leaving inside. All our packs are burning. Is that a good thing, Jules? <laughs> Jimmy, stop. Oh, no. oh, they're struggling with their pump. Don't want to predict anything too early, but I think I know who's going to be in the dodgy tent. It. It. It's yeah. time to put up the awning. Okay, Hang on, the DJs have gone backwards. Just uh, two and a half minutes left. Hey, come on, come on. Oh, Club Sandwich are looking really impressive. They want the badge. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get the air mattresses up. Alicia's not happy. Struggling with the awning there, Bush Bashers. No worries from Club Sandwich. One minute left. We are down to the wire. The pressure is on. This is where they're going to make it or break it. The Lilos have to go into the tent. It's very exciting at this stage. Who's going to win it? 20 seconds. Prison skits. What's going on? I'm looking for the most livable tent. No, it's the other way around. Get those pegs in. Finish it off. Five seconds. Just leave it. I'll do. Four, three, two, one. That's it. You got to stop. Woo! What's that? Out of the best. How's yours? Let's have a look. This is our mansion and we paid about a million dollars. Well, we've got a million dollar mansion over here. Here we've got the reinterpretation of the tent. And a 2D version. T the 2D version of the tent. Version. And over here, how'd you go? Let's have a look inside. It pumps now, but... This is good. And you've got your lilos thrown in there. That's not bad. You should be pretty happy with that effort. 
Hey, you boys go. I was a bit worried about you early on. That's pretty good. But then you, you brought you sort of brought it all together at the end. I've only got one in there. You've only got one, but you, oh, yeah. yeah. But that's right, you're working on that while you're working on the tent in the yeah. early stages. All right, well, well done, everyone. But the winner of the first Champions Challenge badge is Club Sandwich. Now, you fellas, you kept it quiet at the start. You are working on the lilo at the same time as putting up your tent. Now, that was quite ingenious. Who thought of that one? Well, we both did. You both did. And it's quite, quite structurally sound. So, well done, guys. You won the first Champions Challenge badge. But, prison skits, what happened there? We don't nothing, know what we're happened. doing. Really? Yeah. Like, we don't learn these things in school. I'm going to actually do you a favour. This shouldn't be a favour, but you're going to sleep in the dodgy tent, which is I'm looking a lot better than your tent at the moment. The dodgy tent is built on an ant's nest. Do you know that? It leaks, and it's close to the river. Okay. Uh, a brim could come up and start eating your tent. But as well as getting the dodgy tent, you've got to get up early tomorrow and cook everyone breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be cooking everyone scrambled eggs. Have you done scrambled eggs before? No. no How are no. you feeling about that? So this is sort of a punishment for you guys as well, isn't it? She has done it before. So you've got a head chef at least. Well, well done, everyone. Give yourselves a clap. That was good for the first Champions Challenge and Club Sandwich, the first champions of the day. Now, what I've got here are your survival packs. They contain everything you're going to need at Camp Orange, including your team colours. They're all labelled, so uh, pick your bags out. And me, I'm going to go fishing. See ya. See ya. See ya. It all looks so groovy in this hat. It was not our strongest event, <laughs> that one. It's kind of a tent in progress, I think. We're red! Yeah! Because yeah. the it time... It was hard at first. I think we're built on rock. The time was so... a bit strict, I reckon. It was pretty... Even, the like, the world thingy. record dude couldn't even do it in that time. We're blue! Yes! I thought they would win. The bush crashes or whatever they're called. Because, oh. like, they got their practically half their veranda up and we didn't. We're coloured green, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty cool. They're very smart. Or... And I just think it over once, though. So. Yeah, gone. And they didn't yeah. panic either. Like, yeah. you know, we had our tent up first, so they were just yeah, still going at their own up. pace, and they ended up winning. Yeah. So I think they're pretty good. I think oh. everyone will be spending time in the dodgy tent. Everyone has strengths. Everyone has weaknesses. They weren't really good at putting up the tent, but we won't be really good at something else. So with making breakfast tomorrow morning, it's um, gonna be fun. We shouldn't be worried. They're the ones who should be worried because we're the ones be making afraid. it. You'd be very afraid. Coming up, the competition kicks in with our first game orange and the first slimy on Nickelodeon's Camp Orange. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. Information declassified. Operative, you. Top Agent Ned has compiled new reports outlining survival tips for the most dangerous of assignments. School. School. This information will help you escape the worst situation you can imagine. The worst situation you can't imagine. The worst situation you could imagine, but can't imagine because they're unimaginable. Ned's Declassified. Saturdays and Sundays at 6.30 here on Nick. This message will self-destruct. Holly's Jumbo Jet flying high. It's a great big jet in the sky. Walk the runway. Yeah, we rock it. It's a fashion runway in the sky. Holly Pocket Jumbo Jet comes with all this. You put it together. Other dolls each sold separately. Holly, la, la, Holly. Kids are in control. Weekdays on Savo. Your dares. Your wishes. Your stars. Your mail. Your pets. Your picks. Look at the colors. Click heads. Web heads. Totally sick neck heads. Taste it. Smell it. Slime it. Fart it. Burp it. Out loud. Savo. Weekdays 4 to 6 on the channel where kids are in control. Nick. We're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. You guys are looking pretty snazzy in your team colours. You feeling good? Yeah. Well, you look like you're ready for our first 
game orange. Yes. You ready for it? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's stand up and we'll take a walk across the other side of the island. Every day at Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, there are two major challenges, the Champions Challenge and the Game Orange. In today's Champions Challenge, Club Sandwich earned the first badge, while Risen Skits earned a night in the dodgy tent. Go, or Game Orange, doesn't carry a penalty, but the winners will get a Go badge, and all badges I award count towards becoming the ultimate Nick Campers. All right, what we've got here is we've got four canoes, each with your team colours on them. See, we've got the boys out there. You're going to get in the canoes. One of you is going to be the navigator, and the navigator has a map, and one of you is going to be the paddler. Now, the navigator sits at the front. You've got to do a figure eight around the boys. Go out, grab the flag off the boy, head into shore, and the first one to plant their flag by the balloons is going to be the winner. Now, that sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Get this, the person paddling is going to be blindfolded. You're not going to see a thing. So this is going to be a game in communication. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. You've worked out who's doing what? Yeah. All right, let's go to the canoes. What do I think my strengths are going to be? We'll Probably we'll work together. working together and cooperating. Well, we do canoe at home, but never blindfolded, so... I thought that the bush bashers would have been our biggest threat, but obviously they were really close with the other guys. I reckon that they're our biggest threat. Well, I'm sort of scared of boats, but I'm going to get over that. Mm. Is everybody set? And they're off. The bush bashers have an early lead with the DJs working well as a team. Everybody's off to a good start, except <laughs> where are Frizzin' Skits off to? The bush bashers are first to the flag. Oh, but they've missed it. They've overshot the mark. Prison skits have returned to the beach. What is going on? The DJs continue to power through. They're the first to get their flag. Now they have to resume the figure eight and head back to shore. Lifesaver Dave to the rescue. Prison skits, they're off again. Will, the paddle doesn't mind getting wet. The bush bashers are still trying to get their flag. Julia's powering. The DJs want this first game orange badge. All the other teams are desperately trying to get their flag. I thought that the bush bashers would have been our biggest threat, but obviously they were really close with the other guys. I reckon that they're our biggest threat. Well, I'm sort of scared of boats, but I'm going to get over that. Mm. Is everybody set? And they're off. The bush bashers have an early lead with the DJs working well as a team. Everybody's off to a good start, except <laughs> where are Frizzin' Skits off to? The bush bashers are first to the flag. Oh, but they've missed it. They've overshot the mark. Frizz and Skits have returned to the beach. What is going on? The DJs continue to power through. They're the first to get their flag. Now they have to resume the figure eight and head back to shore. Lifesaver Dave to the rescue. Frizzin' Skits, they're off again. Will, the paddle doesn't mind getting wet. The bush bashers are still trying to get their flag. Julia's powering. The DJs want this first game orange badge. All the other teams are desperately trying to get their flag. The bush bashers look like they're going to get the flag. He's picked up the whole boy. These guys could be in the running for a teamwork badge. Frizz and Skits are back in it. Check out Club Sandwich. They've also got their flag. They are neck and neck. Game Orange is on. The DJs are ahead with Demi still calling instructions. Bush bashers aren't far behind. There's going to be a very close race. They've hit the shore. Julia puts the paddle down. Demi. 
Demi plants the flag for the first time. The DJ's Bush bashes a second. Get it in there, fellas, into the ground. Frizz and skits out of nowhere. Third place. What a comeback for them. And a huge finish for Club Sandwich. It was really hard for me because I just kept um, whacking my hand on the side of the boat when I was yeah. paddling. I couldn't see it. How about you, Bush Bashers? We did a hard journey home because we hit the buoy. We had to go around it this way yeah. and we hit it. What about Demi and Julie? You were in first. Did you find that easy or was it hard? It was a bit confusing with saying like left and right and stuff. So you weren't sure if you were supposed to be paddling left or on the left hand side. And what about frizz and skits? Um, apparently we hit the rocks. But you did get the flag and you got it back. We were fast because we hit the rocks and then we had to go all the way around again. Yet we still didn't come last. You did do it very well. But the winner of Game Orange is Demi and Julia DJ. You are, well done. You did very well, but everyone did well. Here we go. And as a special treat, what I might get frizz and skits to do is slime the winning team. <laughs> Grab a bucket each. There you go. Step back, everybody. Let's get back. One, two. Oh, oh my God, this is bad. Wait, still more coming. Oh my God. How does it feel? It's, it's very cold and refreshing. All right, Demi and Julia, you get yourself cleaned up, and we'll meet together at the gathering circle a bit later on. Well done, everyone. We think we have the winning edge because, um, well, probably because we can communicate together and we We've can... We've known um, each other for a long time. Yeah. We went a bit off because he thought right was right and left was left, <laughs> so we went the opposite way. And she I said go right when she meant go left, but I was meant to paddle right. And we came third, so it's OK. Yeah, better than coming last and not having a tent. Well done, everyone. Did you have a good time at Camp Orange? Yeah. Good first day? Yeah. Let's have a talk about it. Club Sandwich. William and Andrew, now you won the Champions Challenge. Yeah. Have you got any tips for the other teams? Teamwork. Yes, yeah. teamwork. Was there a point in putting up the tent where you started to work together? Yeah, after no. we got the um, pegs in, we started to help each other. Yeah. Now, Demi and Julia, you won Game Orange and you were paddling like mad. What was your secret? Yeah, when it comes to challenge, yeah, just like teamwork and you really need to communicate. The Bush Bashers, Jack and Mick, you came so close today in both challenges. You almost had your tent up. I thought you were winning at the start. And then in the uh, canoeing, you really raced out hard. You want to issue a challenge to anyone for tomorrow? Can't really do that yet. We're not, we're not on top of the ladder. When, when are you going to sort of pounce? In the last couple of days. So should everyone keep their eyes on? You too? Yep. Well, this leaves us with frizz and skits. Now, Tandy and Alicia. The tent didn't even go up. It sort of. Sort of went it up. It got there and then it fell down. And in the canoeing, you ran aground as well. Mm. Ran aground for a second, but then you got the flag. You did really well. Were you proud of yourselves? Yeah. Yeah, we were. At least we didn't come last. Yeah. Well, guys, it's getting late, so it's time to award the badges. The first badge is the Champions Challenge badge and it goes to Club Sandwich. Well done, fellas. There it is, the first badge on the board. The game orange badge goes to the DJs. Well done. Very good effort in the kayaking today. All right, there's a couple of campers who really made me laugh for their appalling effort with your tent. Tandy and Alicia, you win the Ha badge for the most laughable effort today. Oh well done. The last badge goes to the Bush Bashers and it's the teamwork effort because, fellas, you did so well today. You got so close and tomorrow I'm expecting some big things from you. Woo! I'll explain how the badge system works, guys. The Champions Challenge badge and the Go badge are worth twice the value of the smaller badges, but don't write these off because at the end of the camp we'll be tallying them all up and the team with the greatest value is going to be crowned the ultimate Nick Campers. Well, campers, it's going to be a big day tomorrow, so why don't we finish things off with a Camp Orange chant? Yeah! Woo! Yeah. All right, here we go. DJ, Freeze and Skit, Bush Bashers, Club Sandwich, Guy Camp Orange! Good night, campers. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to finish off. The best part of the first day was getting slimed when we won. Um, Game Orange was really fun. It was great, but putting up tents isn't 
as exciting as just canoeing. Setting up the tents was a really good challenge to pick because it shows when you do go camping what you've got to experience. When we came around here, we saw the tent and I didn't like what I saw because tents and me, I don't think they go together well. Winning the tent, the first challenge, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I think the girls will win Camp Orange. I don't know if it's us or the other girls' team, but I think they'll win because we can think. Boys can't think. The girls are all right. Um, yeah. They're, yeah, they're all right. We haven't really got to know the boys yet. DJs, well, they're very funny and energetic, very energetic. Michael and Jack, they don't know my name. I don't know what they call me, I forget, but something's done with D. Oh, they call me Diggy. Michael has a bad habit at talking, especially to the girls. We call the bush bashes country lickers because they call us city slickers because they think we are boyfriends and then we prance around getting our nails done and we get really annoyed with that. Prison skits, I would have to say I've got go about them and uh, they're very funny and they don't, they say what they have in their minds. We boss them around, we're the boss of them, seriously, like they have no idea what's coming. Next time... Oh, why is it that colour? If you get a bit of shell, that's not our goal. Breakfast is served. The race to become the ultimate Nick Campers becomes messy. Who is game enough to take the leap of faith? Chaos in the camp. Look what I did to that camp! I slapped it! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
have to say I've got go about them. And so were the girls. They have no idea what's coming. Today, our search for the ultimate Nick Campers intensifies as the teams hit the heights. Scary. Slide for glory and descend into camp chaos. Last night we were good mates, but now it's turned all around just in one day. This is Camp Orange, day two. penalty for pitching the dodgiest tent in the first Champions Challenge, Frizz and Skits had to sleep in the dodgy tent, and as a consequence, they have to make breakfast for the other campers. But can they cook? Good morning, Camp Oranges! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You guys first is ready. ready. You want some? The campers seem a little tired today. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was, yeah. and then I realised. Um, our first night at Camp Orange was really fun. Yeah, but um, the girls there wouldn't be quiet. She said there was a bug on I me, mean, and I started screaming, screaming for about five seconds. And the bush bashes and prison skips were in between them. I was talking about their boyfriends, actually. <laughs> Michael was really annoying. Oh, I was giving him a hard time. And Michael kept on saying to Julie, do you have a boyfriend and stuff? What did he say? They were saying, yes, we do have boyfriends. And they go, why? He was saying it to all the girls. I was saying to Michael, like, oh, well, if we want to like, win the challenges tomorrow, we've got to get um, a good night's sleep. And a good breakfast would probably help. Oh, why is it that colour? We're not very nervous about the girls making this. Yeah, I probably won't even eat it anyway. No. Ah, it's easy. I know, I know what I'm doing. Why is it like that? I don't know. Yeah. So I can cook better than I can put up a tent. Oh, Wait for more, kitties. That's I know, no, you guys are shelling it. Come back, no we didn't. That's what eggs look like. Oh. The bacon yeah. will be here soon. <laughs> oh. Corn fruit. This is so... Hey, one more. I have proof. Here we go. Egg shell. Welcome everyone to your second day at Camp Orange. So, who slept well last night? Yep. 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 Yeah. You didn't sleep so well in the uh, dodgy tent, prison skits. You wake up, you can't really breathe. Just look at how much grass. On grass. On you ready to go for today? Yeah. 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 Now you guys have got hero stories. So we'll start with you, Michael. What's your hero story? When I s stared this bull in the eye once. You let him charge you? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. What are you, Jack? We were playing in the rapids and my dog got caught in the log and she was drowning, so I went and grabbed her. When I was on holidays, um, our holiday house burnt down and I lived through it. So I'm really? a firefighter. Yeah. Well, we were at the pool and my friend was sinking, except he looked really funny when he was sinking. So I just couldn't save him because I was laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was jumping on trampoline and I cracked my head open and I lived to tell the tale. <laughs> what about you? Um, do you mind? I don't really have a hero story, but I can do this. Well, no, that's pretty heroic. <laughs> well, guys, you're going to need all those hero stories and more for our second Champions Challenge. So I'm going to get you to put on these blindfolds and I'll take you to the next location. Sort them out amongst yourself. You. The Champions Challenge is the team's first chance of the day to win badges that count towards becoming the ultimate Nick Campers. Guys, this is such a top secret location, not even I'm allowed to know where it is, so follow me. OK, everybody, well, we're here. Do you want to take off your blindfolds? Boom! Ooh, Turn around. Oh, my God! This is the leap of faith. Oh. What you're all going to have to do oh, is climb up there to the platform, jump off and attach a team flag to the ball hanging from the oh. wire up there. Who wants to go first? Jack? You had your hand up pretty quick. We'll get you all harnessed and Jack, you're going to be the first on the leap of faith. Right, now the team who attaches the most flags to the ball or gives us the best effort is going to take home the Champions Challenge badge. But for the dodgiest effort, 
the team is going to sleep in the dodgy tent tonight and, as an extra penalty, wash everyone's socks in the morning oh. while you're wearing them. Oh. All right, Jack, you're harnessed up. You ready to go? Yep. All right, mate. Let's go, Jack! Well, I suppose I am a bit nervous because um, we haven't got a Champions Challenge badge yet and I really want to get it, so I've got a bit of pressure. You going all right, Jack? Yep. It's a brave call from Jack because that platform is very high off the ground. How's it feel, Jack, up there? Pretty good. <laughs> it's a lot higher than you think. Yeah, we'll count him down. You want to count down? Uh, OK. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. He's off. Oh, and he's just missed it. He really wanted that one. It was a good effort. He stayed focused the whole way through. Let's have a look. Oh, so close. It went real good. I'm surprised to jump that far, but it was really close. I thought, oh, well, he tried his best, so, yeah. I've never done anything like this before, really. Go, Will. Go, How are you going so far, William? Oh, scary. William's now at the top of the pole. Right there. He's still looking nervous. What can he do at this stage? Is it higher up there, Will, than it looks from down here? Yes. <laughs> OK. Three, two, one, go! Oh, He's made it! Conquered his nerves. Perfect jump and perfect follow through. Let's have a look at that again. Oh. It feels so scary when you're up there. I just couldn't think straight. I don't really want to sleep in the doggy tent again, but washing people's socks is a bit grotty. Um, it's unhygienic. I'm not going to lose because other people are. How are you supposed to get up here? You can do it. Come on, Alicia. Push up and onto your stomach. Will's big jump has really put the pressure on the other teams. Oh, you're out. Nice work, oh. Alicia. Oh. Are you going to look down? No. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Come on, Alicia. Two, one, go. She's off. Oh, misses it by a little bit there. She'll be disappointed about that one. You look pretty happy about it so far, Julia. Yep. No worries? No. Julia is not as tall as the other campers, and this could be a disadvantage in this competition. Come on, Julia. She's at the top. Still looking very calm at this stage. How's that? Good. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. She's off. No, oh. so close. Oh, I really thought she might have had a chance there. When I was on the platform up there, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this this is so high. When I probably get up there, I'll be a bit nervous, yeah. He is. Mick knows that he has to get this or the bush bashers cannot win the badge. Pretty high. Anything you want to say to the other teams? Don't do this at home. He's a true professional, Mick. You want to count down? Righto. Righto. Three, two, one, go! He's off. Oh, it looked like he touched it there. Can we have a look at that in slow motion? There it is. Oh. Just touching the blue flag but not attaching it. Didn't get it. It was good fun. Come on, uh, It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty high. If you get this flag on, the game's yours. Yep. Just try not to look down. It's a shock when they see how high it actually is. Oh, yeah. Get up there. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. You want to count down? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. He's off. Oh, oh. he seemed to pull back from the ball a bit right. there. Oh, I went all right. I tried my best. It was fun, though. Tandy looks confident. I wonder why. I've gone on monkey bars. Just Nothing remember, to... keep looking down. Frizen skits his last chance. Go on, Tandy. Go on, Tandy. Go on, Tandy. Now Tandy has the height advantage over the other campers. Three, two, one, go. She's off. She's attached it. No, she hasn't. She has not attached the flag, so that doesn't count. Oh. Just a little nervous. Um, it'll be great to put the flag on the thing. But if I don't, as long as I have fun, that's all that really matters. This leap of faith is so high, if all the campers stood on each other's shoulders, they still wouldn't reach the platform. Hey, Demi, I might just point out at this stage that uh, 
one member from every other team has touched the ball, but no one from the DJs has touched the ball yet. So, no, don't worry about it, no pressure. Keep going, sorry. Pressure. Sorry to stop you. Let's go, Danny. Oh. Let's go. Good chest one down there. Let's go. Let's go, Danny. Let's go. Okay? Kind of! You want to count down now? Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You want it now? Yeah. Five! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right now? I guess so! Three, two, one, go! She throws the flag, hoping for a miracle. I tried. That's all I can do. <laughs> that was the DJ's last chance. It's all over. Well done, everyone, on the Champions Challenge. Give yourselves a round of applause. Magnificent effort, but there can only be one winner. And clearly there's only one flag on the ball on that wire, and it's the club sandwich flag. So for the second time in a row, you win the champion's challenge. Yeah. Which puts you in front at this stage. Now, there was no dodgy efforts today. Everyone jumped, so everyone did great. But someone does have to sleep in the dodgy tent, and there's only one team that didn't touch the ball, and that's the DJs, <laughs> Demi and Julia. So tonight you're going to be in the dodgy tent, tomorrow you're going to have to clean everyone's socks while they're wearing them. Oh, How do you guys feel winning the second one in a row? Pretty Stoked. happy. Yeah, you, you, you were the first of your team up there, William. Were you, were you scared? I was like the most terrified out of everyone. I don't know how I did it. Your mind was blank and you just Yeah, jumped. I just flew. Well done, fellas. And uh, we'll meet a bit later for Game Orange, all right? Yeah. See you, gang. See you later. After the leap of faith, the campers had conquered their fear of heights. Check them out on the swing. <laughs> How was that, Will? I thought they were all going to let go, and I thought that green roof did something else. And then I just fell. After the break, sliming and sliding in Game Orange, plus something is going down. We might be doing some sabotaging the girls' camp. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. This November, Nick is going to make some noise, blasting off with two new Nick heroes. El Tigre, the crime fighting belt buckle twirler, nana rescue and super kid. Let's do it. And showbiz boy, Ricky Sprocket. He has his own cereal. Kyle takes on the Let's Just Play challenge to get fit and healthy. Then we'll turn it up a notch on the weekends with all three series of Camp Orange. There's no time for napping. This November on Nick. Jet comes with all this. You put it together. Other dolls each sold separately. Hey, hamburger! You know the rules. Never go swimming alone because no one can see you. Kids, always make sure a grown up is with you. That way you can safely enjoy getting wet. And remember the rule, never alone in the pool. Six new surfers. You're one of the new Soul Blue crew, aren't you? Yep, that's right. One giant house. I have a shared bedroom with two of the ugliest guys around. And nothing to do except surf and wreak havoc. It's fantastic. Time to have fun. It's a brand new series of Blue Water High on Nickelodeon. Excellent. And the new crew are ready to cause some waves. This wouldn't be where you're rushing off to by any chance, would it? I always think that. Drop in on the new series of Blue Water High, Wednesday at 5 in Sabo on Nickelodeon. Camp Orange Camp Out. I'm sorry guys, but there's been a terrible mistake. You've been here at Camp Orange for 24 hours and you've only got one measly little bit of slime on you. But we're about to right that wrong in the next Game Orange or go! Game Orange is the second challenge of the day with a major badge for the winners. The way this Game Orange works is one team member will be down this end of the obstacle course, the other team member down the other end of the obstacle course. The first team member has to get on their hands and knees, go through the slime. Oh, that is awesome. 
Thank you, Herb. So Grab a piece of puzzle and then race and slide down the slime slide and place your piece of puzzle on the splat. Once you've done that, give your teammate a high five and they'll race back through the obstacle course around to this side and do the same thing. The first team with the puzzle completed is going to win the go badge. Yeah. All right, let's get ready to do this game, Orange. Yeah. Is everyone pumped? Yeah. yeah. On your marks, get set. Go, Alicia. Oh, big splash early on. There's a fight for the puzzle. Alicia's away. Down the slime point. She stopped early. Oh. The first piece of puzzle could be up here. Will's got the first piece of puzzle up. There's the tag. They're away. Dimo's back through the slime slide. It looks like he's knocked it over. He's doing all right. He's struggling here. There's been a change. Look at this. Look at this. Michael's away. He's, this race is changing at all moments he's in. He's got a piece of puzzle. There's no worries there. He's away. He's had a trip. and changed. Jolly is now in the lead. She's through the slime slide. But no, mixed back. This is very close to this stage. It looks like it's the DJs and the push badges. Oh, oh, what's going on here? This is very close. There's a bit of struggling with the puzzle here, so it could be anyone's game at this stage. But it looks like he's got it up. Leave it up there, boys. They're away. Jack's away. He's got a good lead. Both of them at this stage. Looks like Tandy. She's touched the line. They're away. But Demi's away. Because Demi, no, Demi's, they haven't got the lead. They've got two pieces of the puzzle up. It could actually be DJ at this stage. It's too close to call. Jack's away. This is Tandy. Tandy's got the piece up there. Andrew's got the fixing up the slime slide. Really slides back in through the slime slide. Looking good. There we go, Alicia. Alicia, who's playing winning at this stage? This is way too close to call. Let's get up towards the finish line. It's getting very close. The bush bashers need just one more piece. What's going on here? This last piece. Who's got it? Who's going to get this piece up? It's so close. It's too close to call. Who's got it? Don't stay on. Yeah. So our star is incomplete. Close. It was really close. It was really fun. We had it and then it just fell off. So I guess we were out of luck today. What happened in the end? Frizz and Skits, you had your puzzle together and completed first. So you're the winners of this game, Orange. <laughs> well done, guys. Congratulations. All right, guys, that's it for Game Orange. We'll meet together later in the gathering circle. I'll okay. see you soon. See you, see you guys. Who needs a shower when you can bathe in slime? Well done, everyone. The second day at Camp Orange. Did you all have fun today? Yeah. Now, the Champions Challenge, you all did extraordinarily well in the leap of faith. But Will and Andrew, you've won two Champions Challenges in a row. Yeah. You must feel unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? You keeping your eye on anyone at this stage? Oh, yeah, pretty much all of them. Yeah. They're pretty good. Bush the other ones. Who are the other ones? I don't know, the girls. What are the, the girls' names? Girls. I don't what know. are the girls' names? Um, Frizz and Skits and Digger and that. <laughs> Game Orange was incredibly close and incredibly messy. But Frizz and Skits, you took that one out in a close race at the end. How do you feel? Very happy. It's our first big badge. So, does anyone want to issue any challenges to the other teams? <gasps> what, mm. DJs? We would, we would like to, to issue your club sandwich. Your club sandwich. <laughs> If they're not too chicken, of course, to sleep, sleep in, in the dodgy tent. tent tonight. Otherwise, your socks will be like really, really disgusting in the morning. We will make sure of that. I do that. Yep. You do it. Yep. Oh, we're actually gonna do it. And who's gonna wash socks? They I can. Yep. Well, well very nice, fellas. There's no yeah. badge in it for you, though. Thank you. Well mm -hmm. done. Uh, yeah. Do you want to take it back now? No, no, you're not allowed to take it back. No chance. All right. Well, we've got to award some badges tonight because we're trying to find the ultimate Nick Camper. And tonight we're going to give away a teamwork badge. And again, it's going to go to the Bush Bashers. Because you came so Woo! close in both of the challenges. And you did some incredible slides in Game Orange. So there's your second teamwork badge, guys. Now, I'm going to introduce a new badge. Ooh. Now, the random badge goes to the DJs for your sportsmanship. You were supporting everyone in the leap of faith. You were cheering everyone on 
and that was very impressive. So you get the first Woo! random badge, DJs. Yeah, nice work. Yeah. Now I've got another badge. This badge is another random badge, and it's the random badge of courage. Now, when we were doing the leap of faith, I said, who wants to go first? And Jack, you stuck your hand straight up. You didn't hesitate. So you're going to get the random badge yeah. of courage. Yeah. Yeah, go, go, go. Now, guys, let's have a look at the board and see how it stands. Remember, these bigger badges are twice the value of the smaller badges. Club Sandwich has two Champions Challenge badges. The DJs have a Game Orange badge and a Random badge. Frizz and Skits have the Har badge for their laughable effort with their tent and a Game Orange badge. The Bush Bashers have got three of the smaller badges, but remember, we'll tell him at the end and they could overtake all. They've got two Teamwork badges and one Random badge. So well done, everybody. Okay, guys, before we go to bed, why don't we do the uh, sign-off, the Camp Orange sign-off? Yeah! 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 DJs, Rizzo's Gift, Bush Bush Bashers, Club Sandwich, Guys, Camp Orange! All right, see you later, guys. By the time this night is through, the dodgy tent won't be the dodgiest tent. It was really nice of the boys to sleep in the dodgy tent because we challenged them to do it. We never actually thought that they'd actually do it. We went to the dodgy tent because we wanted to be brave and we just wanted to do a challenge and, yeah. We have to wash the socks, so we're going to put, like, yucky, stinky stuff in there and toothpaste and sunscreen and stuff like that. Tonight, us boys, we might be doing uh, some sabotaging the girls camp probably like do something to the tent i think they're playing something for us as well but i don't really care what they do we don't know if they're gonna like drag our tents down to the water this is a very big secret are there any other boys around okay good they're gonna do something to us in the middle of the night or something tonight we're gonna put the big fake spider in the Tazzy Boys' tents, even though they were nice to us by sleeping in the tent, we're still gonna put it in their tent. Prison skits are probably the worst, like they're planning it all and everything, and the DJs are just doing what they to they're told. We can't do the spider tonight because the boys know about it. Prison skits like to start trouble. But prison skits aren't the only ones plotting behind closed tent flaps. Camp Orange is about to become Camp Chaos. Nickelodeon's Camp Orange. It's the morning after, the night before. Now we started it off so and, and we, we finished, finished it. it. Did not. They did. Too. The Camp Chaos wash up. <laughs> oh, that is so disgusting. <laughs> best friends are put to the test. What colour is your best Bud's toothbrush? You're joking me. And who's sending secret messages? <laughs> What do you say? Corco loves Chris. I got bashed up by girls. City slickers can beat country people. He licks the country, he the country to mark his territory. No. My mum said not allowed to hit girls. They go, oh, we're so good. We can tackle bulls when... Like, when he can't! He can tackle the bulls in his life. Have you seen a cow before? Yeah, I've patted the cows like I've milked the, the cow. Horses. I milked the cow at Bubble Gum Farm when I was in kindergarten. Did the cow go moo? Yeah, the cow went the cow moo. Went moo. Cow went moo. Last night we were good mates, but now it's turned all around just in one day.
out. We'll be right back. This week on Savo. In our new show, El Tigre, are these guacamole monsters really the good guys? In Genie and the Beanie, what wish are these Tazzy kids banging their fists for? And in the new Kappa Mikey, has Gonard left Lily Moo to become a cheerleader? That's this, this week, week on Savo. Check the wildest Yoho skill sports. Master the ancient art of Diablo. Do the spin thing with spin sticks. Light the night with LED Poi. Grow your mind with juggling balls. We'll even show you how with demo CD-ROMs. Technique, skills and style. Yoho Skilled Energy Sports. In stores now from Bricks and Pieces. The Kings of Calamity. What's up with the cans? Oh. The Twosome of Tomfoolery. Oh my God, man, you are a jump machine. The Dukes of Disaster. It's really been oh. It makes you, you wonder. Got balls? I'm out of here. Draining the gene pool of all good judgment, it's Drake and Josh. <laughs> Drake and Josh, weeknights at 7, only on Nick. You're back with the Camp Orange Campout. Previously on Camp Orange. Our search for the ultimate Nick Camp has reached new heights as our four teams of best friends threw themselves into the challenges. Club Sandwich led after picking up their second Champions Challenge badge, while Frizz and Skits slid into their first major badge. And there was Midnight Mayhem as the teams wrecked the camp and their new friendships. At the start, the boys tried to be friends with the girls, but then they just started to be a bit like... Then it got better, and then now it just got worse again. The girls have just gone off and... Yeah. No! Today, old friendships are put to the test with revealing results. No. And secret messages are unlocked. Some more secret than others. <laughs> this is Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, day three. Time, the DJs managed to talk their way out of a night in the dodgy tent by challenging Club Sandwich to sleep in there. But they still have to do the dodgy tent task and wash everyone's socks this morning. Is that toothpaste? What nice. is that brown thing? Oh, that is so disgusting. No, not my socks. What's that pink stuff? I don't think egg is a very good way to wash socks. It's, it's cold. <laughs> it's all chunky. What is that? What was that, Danny? She put an eggshell down my socks, so <sighs> that was a bit wrong. <laughs> After last night's antics, there's no love lost between these two. And I'm sure these socks were a lot cleaner before they were washed. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sick. She sprayed tomato sauce down my socks and toothpaste. It was really disgusting. My mum does a better job washing my socks. Same. That was very successful. It was and it was successful. I got splashed, though. That's what the people had to wash their feet in. My socks have gone yellow now. How are you going, campers? Did you have a good night's sleep? So there were some shenanigans last night, I hear. Do you want to tell me what happened, uh, Demi? Yeah, well, all the girls were in Julia and I's tent. Then all of a sudden, the tent, like, just collapsed on us. And then we ran out and we started collapsing everybody else's tent. The boys won. The boys won. Oh, yeah. No, it's the girls won. No, we started it off so. And we, and we finished, finished it. it did not. They did too. go down. Getting beat up by a city slicker? Huh? Yeah, you can't do A body slam into a tent could actually hurt someone, so just take it easy, guys. It's uh, Camp Orange, not Camp WrestleMania at this stage. Are you guys ready for the first Champions Challenge? Yeah. I'll give you one tip. Bring your bathers, your togs, your swimmers, your trunks, your 
board shorts. Am I forgetting anything? Skinny dipping. If you like, Michael, you can do whatever you want. Go get them and we'll meet back here in a second. All right, guys. Each day at Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, our teams compete in two challenges to win badges that count towards becoming the ultimate Nick campers. All right, campers, this is a champion's challenge, so there's a badge at stake and someone will be sleeping in the dodgy tent tonight. The way this challenge works is there are going to be 40 coloured bottles floating out there in the bay. Swim out there with a rubber tube. Don't worry about team colours, just collect any colour you can. Put them in the tube, bring them back here and we'll tally them up. Now. There was a bit of shenanigans going on last night in the tents. A bit of boys versus girls. So what we've decided to do is mix it up a little bit. The teams today are going to be the DJs and the Bush Bashers taking on club sandwich and frizzen skits. You've got one minute to discuss tactics because there's wind to deal with, there's tides to deal with, and there's also a lot of sharks out there. You guys, discuss your tactics, get back here, and we'll start the race. Following last night's adventure, it will be interesting to see whether the teams can, in fact, work together. That does nothing. That means that's even shallower. No, because it looks ugly like that. But I like this. It looks pretty. On your marks. Get set. Overall leaders Club Sandwich are looking to win their third Champions Challenge badge in a row. It doesn't matter which colour bottles you collect. You probably think the team with the most bottles wins. That's not the case. In the bottles, there are messages. One of those messages says winner, and one of those messages says dodgy tent. Everyone reach into the basket and pick a bottle. We'll start with you, Tandy. Why don't you open up your bottle and tell us what it says? What does it say? Yeah. <laughs> what does it say? Give us a look. No. <laughs> Corco loves Frizz. That's Frizz and that's Corco. What does yours say, Alicia? Let's open up your bottle. What does it say? Uh, yeah, the dodgy tent. The dodgy tent tonight. What is your favourite colour? What is your favourite colour? Orange. Are you afraid of the dark? No, let's try it. Go try it. Yeah. All right, everyone grab another bottle. It's still anyone's game. Dear Dave, don't forget to wear your clean underwear. No, dragon. Dave, um, if found, please return to waiter. Oh, Dodgy tent refreshments in here. Bad luck, dragon. Oh. You guys are out, so it's between you guys here. Hey, no, I've got this one, but I can't open it. Yeah, hang on. There's one more. Sorry, not this one. You didn't win. Oh, oh this one's ripped. Congratulations, you 
forward to the last model, fellas. You've done yeah. it. This is your first Champions Challenge. Yeah. Yep. How do you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. And you guys are in the dodgy tent tonight. Yes. You don't look too happy. I could see that we probably had more bottles. And I was like, oh, great. And then, um, and then the we little twist that came had in that had to find it was all out. chance. It was really good working with Club Sandwich because um, now we know them a lot better and they're a lot nicer than we thought they were. The girls were very cooperative. We're not really sure how the other team cooperated, but we think that we got we did better in cooperation. Well done, Bush Bashers and the DJs on that great effort there. And Frizz and Skits, you're in the dodgy tent tonight and I'll tell you about your extra penalty a bit later on. We'll meet later for Game Orange, but if you want to have a swim, go for it. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Coming up on Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, Game Orange. Nine or ten and six, bum bum. Why would you do this to your best friend? <laughs> the Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. Manny Rivera has it all. Amazing powers. A caring family. Barney, I'm home. You're super macho. The machoist. And a best friend. <laughs> Full of brilliant plans. Cool. This is going to be awesome if we survive. And good advice. Well, we got to take these babies out for a spin. We can't steal my dad's boots. That's steal. Borrow. He is young and brave and good. Except when he is young and sneaky and bad. But mostly he is El Tigre. El Tigre, The Adventures of Manny Rivera, a brand new Nicktoon, starts this Monday, only on Nickelodeon. Polly's Jumbo Jet, flying high, it's a great big jet in the sky. Walk the runway, yeah we rock it, it's a fashion runway in the sky. Polly Pocket Jumbo Jet comes with all this, you put it together, other dolls each sold separately. Polly la la Polly. Information, declassified. Operative, you. Top Agent Ned has compiled new reports outlining survival tips for the most dangerous of assignments. School. School. This information will help you escape the worst situation you can imagine. The worst situation you can't imagine. The worst situation you could imagine, but can't imagine because they're unimaginable. <laughs> Ned's Declassified. Saturdays and Sundays at 6.30 here on Nick. This message will self-destruct. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. Our four teams were all chosen because they're best friends. But in today's Game Orange, we'll find out if they're as close as their secret handshakes would suggest. I hope to become better friends with Jack and become really, really good friends with me. Tandy's like the bestest friend in the whole wide world, so it depends what we're going to be doing, but I hope we're a good team. Because we've been best friends for a while now. He's funny and like, we're both like crazy sort of, and it's, yeah. If there's a hard challenge, I know that um, if we do it together, it'll be a lot easier and I won't be as scared. Sorry about being late, guys. I was caught up in the bush. It's Game Orange time with a go badge for the best team of best buds who know each other best of all. I'm going to ask the teammates in front a series of questions about the teammates behind. Then I'm going to ask you guys to leave and we'll ask you the answers to those same questions. When you return, if your answers match, you're best buds. But if they don't match, there are going to be messy consequences. All right, guys, can you go and nick off behind the rock of silence that's over there? No whispering and no cheating. Question one. What's your best bud's favourite food? <laughs> I have no idea. Just your own. Question two. What's your best bud's middle name or names? I don't know how to spell it. That's as question. funny as it may sound. That's question one. Did I have Patricia? Yeah, give him that. That's question one. Like, I've never written my middle name on anything. Question three. How old was your best bud when you first met? Can you do two answers if you're not sure? I've got two years and I'm not quite sure which one it was. Question four. 
What colour toothbrush does your best bud have here at Camp Orange? Oh. That's Silliest a, question. That's close. <laughs> but it's, it's two colours. Question five. If your best bud could have any pet, what would it be? Does it have to be the breed? Come on, Eagle. <laughs> Should we call your mates back? Yeah. No. Let's call them back now. Come back, campers! Can't look at them. All right, question one was what's your best bud's favourite food? I'm gone here. Why don't you reveal what your favourite food is? Great. <laughs> Club sandwich, chocolate and pizza. Ba -ba. The DJs. Corn on the cob, well done. You got that right. Frizz and skits. Junk food and pizza and cheese. Ba -ba. And the bush bashes, chocolate and pizza. Ba -ba. So guys in front, what I'm going to ask you to do is remove your Camp Orange hat. Oh, not you, Mr. The ones that got it wrong, I want you to reach down and pick up the egg. You're joking me. Tandy. On the count of three, we'll crack the eggs. One, two, three. Crack him. <laughs> William's doing himself. That's the spirit. <laughs> That'll do for the egg because there's, there's plenty more stuff back there. All right, guys, question number two. What's your best bud's middle name? What did you write down? Walter? Walter. That's a match. Patricia. DJs, that's a match. Frizz and Skits. Helen, that's a match. Bush Bashes. John and James. Bum, bum. So, Michael, what I'm going to get you to do is get the baked beans from behind the log <laughs> and pour them all over oh, Jack's yuck. head. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Question number three. How old was your best bud when you first met? Club sandwich, nine or ten and six. Bum, bum. DJ's five years old and four years old. You've got kinder there. Yeah. That's a bum bum. Sorry, Julia, take your hat off. Frizz and skits, five, kindy and four. Bum bum. The bush bashes, ten and ten. You got that one right. Bush bashes, you get this one off. Everybody else, pour your chocolate sauce. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Question number four. What colour is your best Bud's toothbrush at Camp Orange? Club sandwich. Black and grey. And what have you got there, William? Blue, so that's... Ba -ba. The DJs. <laughs> you You've got them. pink. And rain. And rainbow. Pink's in the rainbow. Ba -ba. I was going to say pink. Ba -ba. Frizz and skits. Yellow. No, I got what she got. <laughs> and purple blue. Oh my ba -ba. God. And the bush bashes. Orange. Yeah. And lots of colours. <laughs> That's a bump ball. So everybody so grab good. the slime. Oh, oh, no. oh, Alright. Don't you dare. Julia, oh. I got you a Question number five. If your best bud could have any pet in the world, what would it be? Let's have a look. Club sandwich, dog and dog. Yes. So that's a tick to you guys. The DJs, what does oh, that say? Tiger cub. Tiger cub. And tiger cub. And tiger cub. Oh. Tick to you guys. I got it right. Frizzen skits, a monkey. And a cat or kitten. That's a bump bow. The bush bashes. What is that? You slimed it. What does it say? Dog. Show it to us. Wipe it. It says eagle. That's a bump bow. So, who got that one right? Me. We did. Okay, frizz and skiz and the bush bashes. Grab the feathers. Please, I want feathers. Finish it off with feathers. Yeah. For best friends, they're pretty keen to dump stuff on each other. The 
winner of Game Orange for today was the DJs with three. You guys are the best buds at this stage. This Game Orange was disgusting. He poured them all down my shirt and half in my pants. <laughs> Oh, they smell. It was pretty fun sliming him as well. The worst part of the game was when they asked you, what colour is their toothbrush? We know nothing about that at all. I don't go around going, Alicia, what's your toothbrush? When we go working together sometimes, we talk about what we can do to the cattle. And the eggs really hurt when they hit me in the head. I wouldn't crack either. No, I love you, oh, Go away! Go away! Well, well done, everyone. Did you have a good day at Camp Orange today? In the Champions Challenge, the boys and the girls, they combine teams, and you all worked really well together as a team. Now, the Bush Bashers opened the last bottle and won the Champions Challenge. So, well done to the Bush Bashers. We'll stick that badge up for you, fellas. There we go. Oh, you're streaking ahead. How do you feel? I'm um, pretty good. The only reason you've got that badge is because you got a little help from the DJs. Yeah. So, the DJs, you're going to get the teamwork badge tonight. Well done, DJs. Woo! It gets better for the DJs because you knew the most about each other. You are the best friends and you win the Game Orange badge as well. Well done, DJs! Let's have a look at the tally so far. Club Sandwich have two Champions Challenge badges. So you're falling a little bit behind, fellas. You didn't get a badge today. How do you feel? Yeah. The DJs, check this out. One go badge, one random badge, one teamwork badge, and another go badge. Well done, guys. <laughs> Frizz and Skits have a har badge and a go badge. Well done, guys. And the Bush Bashers have one teamwork badge. Another teamwork badge, a random badge, and a Champions Challenge badge. Well done, guys. <laughs> Getting back up there. At the halfway mark in Camp Orange, the DJs are in the lead. Yeah. Well done, DJs. Frizz and Skits. <laughs> you had the bad luck of opening the dodgy tent bottle, so that's where you're going to be staying tonight. Perhaps not. Why? We would like to issue a challenge. It's more of a macho man challenge to show if the girls are better than the boys to the bush bashers. Really? Bush yes. bashers? Oh, no. You're going to take up the challenge? Yes, and we're willing to take it. Oh, all right. So, Frizz and Skits, what's the challenge? Each person has to come up and show our panel of judges and prove to them who is the strongest in any way they can. All right. Why don't you guys go first, because you issued the challenge. No. Oh, Come on. Yeah. That's fair. We They've taken up the challenge. We give one to ten. ten. One to ten. Start okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. You see those muscles? Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Woo! All right, well done. That was pretty much it, fellas. You want to get up here and show us how much you are? Can we hear our score? How many okay. All right. Here's the challenge. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, that's pretty good. You better get it off the back now, because that's a huge log. Judges. Group huddle, please. All right, guys. Time's up. Yeah, What's your decision? The girls. The girls. I'm sorry. I'm going to be the judge of this one, fellas. That was a big lift. You put on your back. You rode him like a horse. So you win the challenge. All right, guys. It's been a great day. But before we head off to bed, why don't we do the sign-off? It was really fun sliming Will. The hardest part of the day would have had to be um, just pouring out stuff on, the, on our best friends. I'd have to say the best part was sliming Will. The Champions Challenge was good because when we worked, we worked with the bush bashers and we didn't have any problems. We were all getting to know each other and 
It's actually going very well. When we first met them, we thought they were really annoying because they're boys, and as you do. Um, but now they're not getting as annoying. Yeah, it was good working with the girls. Um, we've never done anything like that before, so it was a bit different, but it worked out well. To work with Club Sandwich was um, really fun because we got to know them a lot better and we cooperated, and they're really nice, and I think we're all really good friends now. They're not as mean to us anymore, so that was pretty good. My favourite team right now would have to be the yellow team. Coco Loves Frizz was a note in the bottles that we found and um, Frizz, or Tandy, found it and she, so she was really embarrassed but I don't know if it's true. I don't know why they wrote it. He was talking to Tandy and Alicia last night and I was trying to tell him like, well Mick, if we want to win the challenges we can't be tired so just go to sleep. Um, I think the note was just silly because I don't think he does. I think I'm going to do some investigation in that. Next time on Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, the island is invaded. All right, the 15 has arrived. I like half fainted nearly. Just amazing. And a bit of stage fright. We have eight of the greatest performers Australia has never seen here is followed by a lot of real fright. Oh, my God, Alicia. I saw something there. Oh, my God! Alicia, Tandy, Tandy, I forgot to tell you about your penalty because you're in the dodgy den tonight. In the morning, you've got to wake everyone up really early with a megaphone and run them through an exercise routine. <laughs> Whatever you want. You can do it in star jumps, push-ups. You get them to do anything. All right? <laughs> Sleep well. Stick around, the Camp Orange Campout will be right back. Weekend mornings brought to you by Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. Play the video game. Adil, genie school graduate. He's a wish granter. Your wish is my command. Nose flute dancer. Dramatic actor. Catch me. Expert camel cleaner. Remember, stand clear of either end. Ew. And a disaster waiting to happen. The scabby dog has fallen into the web. Jump on the magic carpet with Genie in the house. Mondays in Savo at 5 on Nickelodeon. You've mastered all of Spider-Man's moves. Now you can get his webs too. With the new Ultimate Web Blaster, you can take Spider-Man's web slinging powers for a spin with five ways to web blast. Spider suction darts. Stretchy web flingers. Web fluid. Spider missiles. And water webs. The new Ultimate Web Blaster with five ways to web blast. Venom masks sold separately. search for the ultimate Nick Camp has began and Club Sandwich set the early pace winning the first two Champions Challenge badges. But the DJ started hauling them in to take the lead at the halfway point. Frizz and Skits have been blowing hot and cold but they're always a threat. While due to bad luck, the Bush Bashers have been close runners up in almost every challenge. Unfortunately for them, their bad luck looks like continuing today. I guess I have to do it on the end. Also today, the teams perform silly camp songs under the watchful eye of celebrity judges. And I saw the cold hard cheese. And who will survive? The spooky path. We're about three badges behind everyone. We really need to catch up, so with this we're not going to get scared. <laughs> oh my god! This is Camp Orange, day four.
Spending their second night in the dodgy tent, Frizz and Skits have been given the secret task of running an exercise routine after breakfast. Morning campers, today's going to be a little bit different because the first thing we're going to do is the game orange. And then in the evening, we're going to do the champions challenge. But before we get into that, Alicia and Tandy, you had a bit of a penalty for sleeping in the dodgy tent last night. So do you want to take it away? Stand up, everyone, stand up, now. Line up over there, away from the logs. Hurry up, come on, haven't got all day. Tony, start up, chop, chop, chop. What none of the campers know is that Tony and James from Nickelodeon Savo Show are about to bust this party. Keep an eye on Club Sandwich because Andrew has said he would go nuts if he met these guys. James and Tony from Saho. Oh, I like half fainted nearly. It's just amazing. This person just took this megaphone off me. I thought there was some scary kidnapping people. <laughs> the Tasmanian boys were like going wild, and I was like, oh, this, this is James That's and Tony. That's my boys. All right, guys, James and Tony are here to help us with our first game, Orange, so let's go. Before coming to Camp Orange, our teams were asked to prepare a really silly song, and the silliest will win today's Game Orange. All right, everybody, you've been preparing your silly song, and now you're about to perform it. We've got James and Tony here to judge it. Are you looking for anything in particular, fellas? It is a yeah. silly song, remember that. It's called a silly song. The yeah. silliest song will win. Say it. Silliest song will win! And in true Camp Orange style, there's also a twist. So if I can get you to gather around here, we've got a special message from someone. What to do? Hey guys, Anthony Kalia here. Now I know you've all been busily working on your silly songs, but I'm about to take things up just a notch. You've all got two minutes to figure out how to include a little something extra into each of your songs. Demi and Julia, I want you two to move like a cow somewhere in your song. Move like a cow. Who? Oh, I got it. Jack and Michael, I want you two to sing the words Big Pants somewhere in your song. <laughs> now, Tandy and Alicia, I want you two to include some yodeling when you perform. Aww. What do we have to do? Now, Andrew and William, I want you two to sing your whole song in Japanese. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I want you to include some beatboxing in your song. Include beatboxing in Japanese. <gasps> yes. So now you know what you've all got to do. Good luck, guys, and may the best song win. All right, you heard Anthony. Now over there, there's a table full of props. You've got five minutes to work out how you're going to incorporate those things into your song and get a costume going. All right, guys, go get your costumes and props. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Club Orange. It's hot in here today and it's about to get a lot hotter. Because first up on the stage, it's Tandy and Alicia to show us their silly song. Come on up here, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you the mic and you guys take it away when you're ready. Peace out, guys. All of a sudden he got stuck bring bring from the man with the bling bling. He said we were going on Camp Orange, but nothing rhymes with orange, so... sounded absolutely fantastic. Uh, look, we are, of course, rating on a few different scales, gags per minute, uh, the gross out factor, and uh, of weird course... Weird dance vibe, which I've been judging today, and there was plenty of weird dancing in there. You scored very highly. Well done, girls. Thank very you, nice. Thanks, man. Peace right out to, the end. to you two. Next up, these boys, they're bad. They're from Israel. Jack and Michael. Alright, fellas. I'll give you the mic. You take it away when you're ready. We're Mick and Jack and we're heading to town. Heading to town. Big camp on the sun goes down. Sun goes down, yep, that's it. Work the cattle with big pants. With big pants. Yeah, with big pants. Keep going, man. <laughs> yeah, well.
was hoping, fellas, I wouldn't have to pull out the honesty hat this early in the day, but I'll put it on quickly and just have a quick chat to you about what I thought. Hi. Fellas, you, you talked about partying all night in your song there. Have you been partying all night because you forgot the lyrics? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. night. It showed. Oh. Too much partying. Mm. I guess all we can say we is... We won't give you a number. Well, uh, you tried. Well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Well, that's going to be a hard act to follow. And it's lucky. Because next we have Demi and Julia. They're going to go here and look what they've got. Here you go. Take it away, guys. We've got TJ. And we're here to stay. We try our best every day. We won't give up. I definitely did get the mooing in. We loved that. Mooing. I that mean, that's, that was the challenge, and you met that challenge. Gags per minute were moderately high, mm -hmm. which was good. There was a costume malfunction we were a bit concerned about halfway yes. through there. Did lose hey, the guys, disco hat. Right? So you see the colours? The Donuts. colours are good. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll do the judging. Don't answer that. Um, otherwise, fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. Now, these two fellas, they're from Tasmania, and I'm sure they're going to blow us away. It's um, William and Andrew. Get yeah. over here. and put your underpants on top of your head. That was a stroke of genius, fellas. A wedgie's got to be impressive. I'm going to start off with the honesty hat. It's going straight on. And I'll tell you now, you boys are going upwards. Whoa. Upwards from here. Unbelievable stuff. Fantastic. Gags per minute. Weird dance vibe was mm. everywhere. Beatboxing, which was very important, which was your challenge, and the attitude. The attitude was very high. Oh, what can you say and about that? And some the great dynamic shifts there. And coming out as two blokes wearing pink wigs. Yep. Gutsy move. That's how it gets with the long hair. It gets in your mouth and you're eating it. Huh? Well, it's been a learning experience as well. Can yep. we have all of the contestants up on stage, please? Everybody Just thank you. On stage so the judges can see you. Well, there's been a variety of performances, all different. There was a wedgie in there. Have the judges made their decision? We have. Yes, we have. Would you like to come up here and certainly. Try. Tony and James. Uh, we didn't know what to expect when we came out here today and we have been treated by you guys. But where, where Salvo Silly Songs came from yes. was just pure silliness. And, and that's for pure what silliness, we couldn't yeah. go past Club Sandwich. Yeah. The Wedgie! The Wedgie's done it! The Wedgie's done it. Well done, oh, fellas! Here we go. Here's a trophy for you. All right, a big round of applause for William and Andrew! Oh, yeah. You guys keep partying here at Club and I'll meet you back at camp for the Champions Challenge. I feel sorry for the bush brushes because they forgot their words. Probably could have tried a lot better because mucked around a bit too much and we got our words. I reckon we all did pretty good. They were all pretty funny. I reckon the yellow team did the best because they had a really good tune and they got all the words correct and that was very funny. Club Sandwich were good. They were really funny, but I was surprised that they won. Silly. Very silly. I like meeting them. They're really nice and... Yeah, yeah. they're really psycho and funny and cool, yeah. Tony James. Club Sandwich. Yeah, Club Sandwich. Club sandwich. These are your biggest fans, so I thought, thought they could say goodbye to you before you head off. I'm going to take a photo of you guys, if that's all right. Well, yeah. If oh, we can hey, get a picture of them as well, because yeah, you guys coming on Savo, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. wicked. We're going jump in here. No, there's nothing sus going on. Let's just get a quick one. Say cheese. Put your horns. Okay. Yee. Say... Chuck it bucket. Say chuck it bucket. Go! I told you camp orange was messy, fellas. Hey, get in, I'll take a photo of you with all the mess. Oh! Hang on. 
bucket straight. Say it again. Say chuck it bucket. Chuck it bucket. bucket. After the break, the scariest challenge yet. Before they can solve a mystery, the teams must walk a very spooky path. I don't know, it just freaks me out. It's everything new. Let's look them up again. <laughs> This November, Nick is going to make some noise! Blasting off with two new Nick heroes. El Tigre, the crime fighting belt buckle twirler, Nana Rescue and Super Kid. Let's do it! And showbiz boy, Ricky Sprocket. He has his own cereal. Kyle takes on the Let's Just Play challenge to get fit and healthy. Then we will turn it up a notch on the weekends with all three series of Camp Orange. There's no time for napping. This November on Nick! Imagine if it was now your battery failed. It need never happen, thanks to Duracell. Duracell power picks give you up to twice the photos because they're specially designed for digital cameras. Duracell power picks. Some moments are just too good to miss. Neopop is the friend you love and take care of. See in his eyes a hundred different ways his feelings show. I love you, Neopop. Neopop, the future of friendship. Each sold separately. Don't wish upon a star, don't wish into a well. Send your wishes to... Jamie in a baby! Savo's Super Segment, where Maud and Kyle grant your wish. This month, Savo's also giving you the chance to win a wish. And the company Maud and Kyle to the Sydney Star Started Premiere of Paramount Pictures B-Movie. Plus, the chance to win one of 25 runner-up prize packs. Send Whoa. your wish to Genie and Avini at Nickelodeon.com.au and watch Savo weekdays 4 to 6, because this week it could be your wish they're granting. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. Today's Champions Challenge is a creepy late night bushwalk. The teams must follow a spooky path, picking up clues and mark stones along the way to an abandoned building. This challenge will be hard for the bush bashers to win because Jack has come down with the flu. Campers, this derelict building behind me is the old nurses' quarters when this island used to be a hospital for housing the seriously deranged. There's a lot of strange and scary stories associated with this building, and tonight's challenge about a missing girl is based on one of those stories. You're going to head out in teams with a torch and a map. There are eight stones scattered along the path. There are clues at each of these stones. Once you've collected all eight stones, we'll get together and solve the mystery. Now, Michael, Jack's sick tonight, so... I just have to do it on my own. If you want. Can you come with us? I need a brave person. <laughs> The other option is, if you really don't want to do it by yourself, I can come along with you. Right, I'll do it with you. All right, campers. We'll meet back here at 10. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm not really nervous. I'm, I guess I'm a bit edgy, oh. but I'm not really scared as much. Well, I, the little girl comes in. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Dave's an adult. He's sensible. He's strong. He's mature. I am scared only because um, something, like, the house just collapsed a little bit. It went bang! I don't know, it just freaks me out. It's everything new. Yeah. I'll look after Will. <laughs> this does not make me feel better. Ten paces past the lantern, X marks, is, marks the spot. Have we got a torch? At four set places along the path, the kids must read another clue and collect two coloured stones with letters on them. The campers don't know what these letters will reveal. Is there anything freaky? No, there's nothing freaky. Come on. While the campers know they are heading towards the abandoned building, they don't know what to expect on the way. Oh, <laughs> That scared me, man. You got ya. Do you want to just pull out, or... I don't know. Should we... I'm freaked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. You all right? You've yep. got to keep your weary eye open, Julia. Okay, give me the torch. Look. Bingo. Ta 
time to get your hands dirty, precious. Dig around and grab your rocks. Read the note and prepare for some shocks. And follow the path and you'll meet a guy who wouldn't be dead for quids. What's that mean? Hell? Nah, I need to get this. <laughs> Do you see how I'm walking you? Yes. Do I look very comfortable? <laughs> oh my god! What the heck was that? Oh my god, Alicia. Oh, I'm freaked. Just look at the ground and sing. Look at the ground and sing. <laughs> Did you knock something there? Or? No, I didn't. Let's look at the map. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, I don't want to go near that again. Oh my god! Yeah, where are we? I wouldn't have a clue. Let's just walk. I Hold guess. on. Someone up there? Not looking. We have rocks. And find the fork in the road. Where are the stones that broke your bones? Here they are. Ian, Ian. but it still is a bit scary. There's a fork, there's a fork. Oh, here we go. It's late at night, head to the right, grab the stones, plus go to the barrel of Bruno. <laughs> Bruno. V and Y. There's Y. Okay, I heard something move. I think we're getting closer. There. Gone. Tandy, we got to find the barrel of Grind. Oh. Barrel for a barrel. Oh, the barrel. We have to go in that house. I'm not going in there. There's a fork in the road. We went right. I'm not going in there. Just go up to it. I'm freaked about houses. It's a caravan thing. I'm looking at the ground again. Just walk. If anything jumps out, it's probably just some the little girl. Ten girls? Right Dig deep, little one. And grab the stones. Plus, don't look back on your way home. Say Are you sure that light won't collapse? Far out. There you go. That's freaky. Cool. Oh, it's wrong. That's blue, that's blue. I can't find it, Just stuck in. I've got one, Demi. Oh, I've got the other one. Yep, I've got one. Oh, nice. Is that eh? Done it. Should we head back? This place doesn't look too welcoming. No. <laughs> well done, everyone. You've just completed the spooky path. However, the challenge isn't over. We're going to complete this challenge at the gathering tomorrow morning. So bring your buckets. Oh, and no one is sleeping in the dodgy tent tonight. Yay! Enjoy your walk back. See you later, campers. Oh, bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 In the morning, the campers will find out what these eight letters on the stones they collected have to do with a missing girl. All right, everyone, well done on the spooky path last night. Was anyone scared? No. no. Yeah, you guys were screaming. I was at the end of the path and I could hear you all the way at the start. We I were just doing it because cool. we wanted to scare you. You're mucking you around. Oh, yes. But the challenge isn't complete yet. Because in front of you, you've got your buckets and the eight stones with letters on them. You'll have to arrange those stones into the name of the missing girl. I've got the name of her in this card. You're going to be right to do this one by yourself, Michael? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Uh, wait. 
Finish DJs, what does it say? Beverly! Let's have a look at the card and see if you're right. B E B E R L E Y. Yep. You got it right, well done, DJs. You win the champions challenge. The most scariest thing was knowing something might come out. Yeah. I didn't get scared by the end, but she was kind of like clinging to my I thought someone was gonna jump. And I'm just like, Tandy, can we please just go to the barrel of room? Oh, the spooky path was really fun actually. I was would have got spooked out if I did it by myself. I feel really sorry for Jack because, like, it's this one time where he's on camp orange and he gets sick. I feel sorry for Michael because he's yeah. got no teammate. Yeah, he yeah. would be Michael's partner if he needed it. No, I'm probably more relaxed with Jack, but... What? Are oh, you relaxed with me? No. Why? I don't trust you. Either. Really? What I don't did trust you? you. What am I going to do? I don't know. Just... Well done, everyone, on two fantastic challenges yesterday. The Go Challenge, there were great performances all round. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> the Champions Challenge badge was won by the DJs for solving the mystery of the missing girl's name. There you go, DJs. Look at you guys, you're streaking ahead there. Game Orange was won by Club Sandwich for that great song that you gave us, guys. <laughs> There you go, Club Sandwich, looking good with three big badges at this stage. Now, in-game Orange, Prison Skits, you gave us a great performance as well. So, we're going to give you a teamwork badge. There you go. There, you wanted another little badge. You happy now? I want another one. You want another little badge? Well, this random badge here, this random badge of courage, is going to go to me for walking the spooky path with Michael. All right, campers, I'll see you soon. See you, see you guys. I think Camp Orange is a lot more adventurous than normal camping. Because, like, there's no adults, and usually when you go camping, you have, like, your whole family there. I've never been camping before. I've been caravanning. No, I've only um, camped, like, in a tent out in my backyard. Sleeping with Will's all right. He doesn't snore or anything. Sometimes I hear snoring, and I don't know who it's from. And I think sometimes I wake myself up snoring. The sleeping's the same, and... It's just like when you get up, I'm not in my backyard, I'm at Camp Orange. Tandy and I are coming last in the standings mm -hmm. and we're not very happy. We're going to try and um, get some small badges. So we're going to do the best we can to take advantage of the twist. It's hard doing it without Jack because we always like the company. The strategy we have is just do our best, just keep on trying. I'd like it. Next time on Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, high tension on the high ropes. Mick's not happy. Give me that random badge that you stole off me. I didn't steal it. I did it. all the work. The campers become targets in an archery free-for-all. Yeah! And I'm going to become the ultimate Nick camper. Watch, watch, keep your eyes on this. Foiled again. Hello. <laughs> Jack's back. We have to include beatboxing. 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 Do you need yeah. some tips? Got some tips? No, I've got it. We're fully really trained beatboxers. Okay, just chance. We've All been right. to the Gel Turner School of Beatboxing. What are you going to do? Sorry about Drum. that. I'll, I'll lay down a beat for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants as much as we love SpongeBob SquarePants? Then you'll go nuts for SpongeBob on the weekends as we bring you double episodes of SpongeBob on Saturday and Sundays at 8.30. Still to come today, a double at 2 and another at 5.30. Wow. That's four more super spongy episodes coming up today. Is that enough? Maybe just one more. <gasps> okay, one more at 8. <laughs> Catch some of SpongeBob on the weekends today, 2, 5.30 and 8 on Nick. <laughs> Robo Jam, and now new Monster Rumble. Can you handle the buzz? 
Welcome to a park of dreams with silly themes, fun reigns supreme. Make new friends and share a chat. Thrill feels awesome. Play some games and take a lap. Uh, what's with that gas? Something's wrong. Holy ah! That was awesome! Take your coaster off the rails. Lose your lungs, bite your nails. Be sure to crash after you bail. Thrill feels bonkers. You're guaranteed to go cuckoo. Turn your guts into goo. Off the rails, this is just for you. The park of your wildest screams. Your park is now open. Surfboard? Check. Beach? Check. Six new surfers hoping to make the pro circuit? Check. Excellent. Nickelodeon's packed and paddling into a brand new series of blue water high. You like some fun? Come on to You can next to me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun, sand, surf. Doesn't get much better than this. Catch the new crew Wednesdays at 5 in Savo on the home of blue water high. Nickelodeon. Netflix is back right now on Nickelodeon. Previously on Camp Orange. Our four teams got straight into the camping spirit, but there was a clear split between the boys and the girls. We're the boss of them, seriously. Like, they have no idea what's coming. What began as a fun nighttime prank turned ugly, and new friendships were broken. Now it's turned all around just in one day. Forced to work together, the teams discovered a different side of each other. They're not as mean to us anymore. All the teams staked an early claim on being the ultimate Nick campers with prison skits the most vocal. I don't know if it's us or the other girls' team, but I think they'll win because we can think. Boys can't think. But they weren't the only ones making a noise around camp as the bush bashers fessed up to letting them rip. Better out than in, I always say. There was obviously something in the wind because Jack came down with the flu and fearless Dave had to step into his shoes and take the reward, which didn't go down well with Mick. Today on Camp Orange, high tension on the high ropes, target practice and disappointment when the campers realise time is running out and there can only be one team of ultimate Nick campers. This is Camp Orange, day five. It's the second last day at Camp Orange and the teams know there are only four challenges remaining. The competition is about to heat up. In the standings, I don't think we're doing very well. Like the bush bashers are on in third place. We're pretty happy about that, but we're greedy, so we'd like more. Bush bashers are on two and a half, so... But hopefully we can catch up today. We're coming second, and that's pretty yeah. good. We've still got, like... He has still got four challenges to go. So we're going to try to win some more. So it's possible for anyone to win. Welcome to day five of Camp Orange, everyone. How are you feeling? Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah. You ready to win some badges today? Yeah. There's a Champions Challenge and a Game Orange today. Badges are at stake. So this could put someone else in the lead. Who do you think is going to win them today? Oh. oh. What's going on? <laughs> we are. Mick, you don't think you're going to win a badge? You're missing Jack. Yeah. How's he feeling? Oh, well, he was a bit better today, but he's still fairly sick. You reckon he'll pull through, though, won't he? Yeah, hopefully. He's tough. He's tough boy. You guys ready to get into it? Yeah! It's going to be pretty hot today. Follow me, everybody. After seeing how worried Mick is about Jack, huh? I decide to come clean. Jack's not really sick. I saw the bush bashes and I thought, hang on a second, I want to be the ultimate Nick camper. I've got to get in on a team. How can I get rid of Jack? Not that Jack's not, you're both good, but the opportunity came up and I saw Jack there, and I sort of... Why'd you have to do it to Jack, though? Why can't you do it to Andrew or Will? But I want to be in the bush bashes. But you didn't have to kill Jack. <laughs> I, didn't kill, I didn't kill him. He's gone to a safe location. Jack's fine. Jack's no, fine. you did. And I'm going to become the ultimate Nick camper. Watch, watch, keep your eyes on this. Hello. <laughs> Rats! Been busted! Jack's feeling better and has come back just in time for this morning's Champions Challenge. This Champions Challenge is a time trial where two teams will be competing at the same time. The objective 
is to race along the ropes course marked out by your team ribbons. It's important to collect these ribbons because you're going to need them later for Game Orange. To make this harder, the course is divided into two sections by a centre pole. Once you reach the pole at the other end, we'll stop the clock. Now you guys have decided who's going up on the ropes course. Yep. The other team members stay on the ground for moral support. Now Jack, you're back. How are you feeling? Um, a bit better. Are you confident in mix ability to do yep. this one? I think you guys are going to do great. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! Are you? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get up there. <laughs> the campers will compete at the top of the ropes course and two teams will race at a time. Will and Alicia will go first, followed by Mick and Julia. On your marks, get set, go. And they're off. Oh, Alicia's come off early. Get back, she's back. She's back in the race. It's not over yet, Alicia. It hasn't even started yet. Grab the ribbon. Oh, Alicia's got the first got ribbon. Got it? Yeah. Will's got the first ribbon. Go, Will. Alicia, second ribbon. It's like walking a tightrope high above the ground. Will's still looking Last focused wheel. at this stage. Hey, guys. You can do it. Last, 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 last. Unclipping. Alicia's reached the difficult part of the course. She's going to have to get around that pole, unclip and reclip. Hold on, I need to get this on this. Oh, Will's taking here? his time with this one. Oh, Will. Alicia. Alicia is firing now. Get it, come on, Alicia. She's got another ribbon. Well done, Will. Oh, you're powering along, Alicia. Will's got a bit of catching up to do. As this is the champion's challenge, the slowest team to complete the course will spend the night in the dodgy tent. Alicia's got the second last ribbon. Alicia has set a blistering time. This is going to be hard to beat. Get that ribbon. That ribbon above you, above you. Come on, Great effort, Alicia. Catch the pole. Will's still going. Go, Will, you're on the home stretch. Will likes height so much, he doesn't want to get off. Go, Will. You're almost there, Will. That's the ribbon that's hurt. Great effort, Will. Alicia did pretty well. I reckon she was really good. She, she got there really fast. I think Will did very well because he I thought he was a bit nervous. Um I was just a little bit scared. I was you know, I was a bit shaky up there, but yeah. Alicia blitzed it. Now it's round two with Mick and Julia. On your marks. Get set. Go! These guys have the advantage of seeing how the other guys did it. They are both going extremely fast. They've got their first ribbons. Alicia must be worried now. Her time is in danger. It's neck and neck. Mick and Julia. Julia and Mick. Mick's at the halfway point already. Yes, good work, Mick. Julia's there. Julia dances around the pole. She's on the other side. This is just too intense. They're both using the ribbon in the mouth technique. Alicia is disappointed. Her lead is slipping away. She really needed this badge. Oh, let's go, Mick. Demi's about to explode. Julia's done it. The DJs are first in in the second heat. Thought I was going pretty good for myself. I think Michael good. kept me going because he was. I was. I looked back at one stage and I saw him and I was just going, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. You gotta, you gotta get there first. The red girls went really good. They were tremendous. They just hooked in. It just was like a jet rocket, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you just didn't want them to win another badge. Yeah. And so I just put all of it in. Guys, that was an unbelievable ropes course. You were all flying along. Yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what the times are now. In fourth place, it's Club Sandwich with a time of three minutes, 29 seconds, and you guys got seven flags. Well done, guys. Frizz and Skits. Your time was one minute, 52 seconds. 
you picked up six flags. Now, I thought after that first round, no one was going to beat your time, Alicia. You were flying along. Did you think you had it in the bag after that? No. I was pretty sure too, because that, that was fast. The Bush Bashers had a time of one minute, 32 seconds, and you picked up six flags. Now, you know why you picked up six flags, not seven? Because you touched the pole and then picked up the flag at the end. That, is that fair enough? Yeah. Fair call? All right, well done, fellas. In first place, again, it's the DJs with a time of one minute, 28 seconds, and seven flags. Well done, DJs. You won the Champions Challenge. How'd you do it, Julia? Because she's got smaller things, easier to bounce. Oh, do you think that's the trick? OK, guys, have you all got your ribbons still? Yeah. Don't lose them, because you're going to need them for go a bit later on. All right, guys, take a break, and I'll meet you back later for the game orange. OK, see you. Oh. Let's do it again. After the break, eight archers, four targets, and a dream come true. Yay! The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. And now, a sneaky sneak peek at a new Nicktoon, El Tigre. So, you stole money from me and you lied. But you also risked your life to save us and then told the truth. Let's see, what would be an appropriate punishment? How much longer? Just about a year. El Tigre, The Adventures of Manny Rivera starts this Monday, only on Nickelodeon. Welcome to a park of dreams with silly themes, fun reign supreme. Make new friends and share a chat. Thrill feels awesome. Play some games and take a lap. Uh, what's with that gas? Something's wrong. Holy ah! That was awesome! Take your coaster off the rails. Lose your lungs, bite your nails. Be sure to crash after you bail. Thrill feels bonkers. You're guaranteed to go cuckoo. Turn your guts into goo. Off the rails, this is just for you. The park of your wildest screams. Your park is now open. Blue, blue, red, blue, go. Hyper Dash! Set up your target. It's the brain busting Yellow. memory game! You got it. Target. Where you memorize colors and numbers! Awesome! You can challenge yourself. Out. Team Micro Dash! Or challenge your friends! Target. No two games are ever the same with four different levels of difficulty! Target strike. Six, minus four. The ultimate memory game where the best brain wins! Awesome. Hyper Dash! Out now from Brits and Pieces! Information declassified. Operative, you. Top Agent Ned has compiled new reports outlining survival tips for the most dangerous of assignments. School. School. This information will help you escape the worst situation you can imagine. The worst situation you can't imagine. The worst situation you could imagine, but can't imagine because they're unimaginable. <laughs> Ned's Declassified. Saturdays and Sundays at 6.30 here on Nick. This message will self-destruct. You're back with the Camp Orange Camp Out. Today's game orange involves archery, so each team gets to practice. The bush bashers certainly feel confident, but I can't say the same for the DJs. Ooh, Nick, nice. Welcome, archers, to game orange archery. The objective of this is to hit the camp orange bullseye. As you can see, if you miss, there are going to be messy consequences. From slime to spaghetti to water. You're going to start with three arrows and take it in turns. Now, you all brought your ribbons along, did you? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to trade those ribbons for extra arrows. You ready to do the trade? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Okay. Woo. Club sandwich. Ten arrows. Well done, fellas. The DJs. Ten arrows. Well done. The bush bashers. Nine arrows. Frizzen skits. Nine arrows. All right, archers. Closest arrow to the bullseye wins. If you hit the white or shoot it off into the bush, that arrow won't be counted. There are messy consequences. Take your positions. All right, Andrew, you're first up. You ready? Good luck, mate. Oh! Spaghetti and water combination? That could be interesting. All right, Demi, you're next. Good luck. Oh! Water. 
are so close to the bullseye. All right, Mick, you ready to go? That arrow doesn't count, Mick. All right, Alicia, you ready for this one? Oh, in the dirt. That arrow doesn't count. Swap arches. It's very tense at this stage. They all want to be the ultimate Nick Campers. Oh, in the white. All right, Jack. Jack is sick with the flu. Let's see how he goes. Oh, that won't make him feel any better. All right, Julia. Have you done this before? <laughs> oh, sure you haven't. Watch this, it's probably going to be bullseye straight up. She's Ooh. missed. All right, Will. It's your turn. Will's got this one for sure. Oh, another miss. Swap archers. We're all going to fight together this time. Miss, miss, miss. You're all going to go at the same time as well. All right. Stay composed. Will. Arrow in the white doesn't count. Ooh. Swap archers. There's a bullseye in this. I can feel it. I can feel it. Sandwich hits water. Bullseye. Oh. The DJs. How do they do it? <laughs> oh, Demi. You don't get any more bullseye than that. That's, that's the splat in the splat. Miss. Another miss. Oh. The DJs can't win this one as well. Come on, you've got to stop the DJs. They're unstoppable. Oh. The other teams look beaten. They need to pull something out of the bag. Oh. Demi oh, off Demi. target. Slime for the bush bashers. Oh, Ooh. it looks like it's all over. They're Jack. running out of arrows. Oh. All right, Alicia. It's your last arrow. Come on. This is yours. This is, I can feel it. Come on, Alicia. Oh. It's not her day. I'll make this your last arrow. Come on, Mick. Oh. Bad luck, bush bashers. Okay, Julia. Oh. It's up to Andrew. Bullseye! Yes! Demo! Yeah. Just hanging on there. All right, everybody, let's go check the targets. Now, Demi and Julia, there's the splat, there's the bullseye, and there's another splat in the bullseye, and you've nailed it right in the middle of the splat inside the bullseye. Something like that. You've also got a slime, the water, and the question mark. All right, guys, I'll tell you how this is going to work. The winners are the DJs, because you guys nailed that. The rest of you, you get to choose what you're going to do. The person who didn't go on the ropes course this morning is going to receive the penalty. Club sandwich. You got a bullseye, not quite near the centre, and how many? Six waters. Obviously, you're going for water. Yeah. yeah. You guys, water. you're going for water? Big. The bush bashers, you've got a slime and a question mark. Um, I can't just stick a slime for a while. All right, bush bashers, you're going for the question mark. Now, frizz and skits, you've got slime and water. What are you going for? Water. All right, you'll be taking Jack's penalty because Jack's not well today. All right, guys, let's get this going. All right, guys, have you got your buckets ready? Yeah. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to say. Bush bashers, for hitting the question mark, you've won yourself a random badge, so you guys have won a random badge for this one. Woo! All right, let's step aside. On the count of three, get yourselves wet and messy. One, two, three. Wow. With two out of two to the DJs today, the other teams feel the heat. Tensions are rising, and even Mick has decided to cut loose. Uh-oh, it looks like it's going to be Camp Chaos all over again. Oh, my God! Oh, my head! But while 
the nighttime antics drove a wedge between the teams, this appears to be having the opposite effect on the campers. Use whatever you want. It's all on now. It's all on. Andrew's wanted to get slime to Camp Orange since day one. Yes. And now he's finally made his own dream come true. Yes. A big old sliming free-for-all is just what they needed to break the tension. Yes. This is what Camp Orange is all about. Friends, fun, activities, spaghetti and making dreams come true. The campers won't forget this in a hurry. It's been really fun and all the challenges are different to what you'd expect. I'm missing home a little bit, but not as, not so much because when you have fun, it kind of takes away all the pain. You forget about who you're missing and stuff and you just focus on having fun. It's, it's really, really cool, fun. yeah. Camp it's Orange awesome. is really Camp cool. Camp Orange is awesome. This has been the longest time I've been away from my parents. We don't have that many days left together and We're it's just nice to, nice to like just do something. It was like a sleepover because we all slept in the red tent. The slime for all has really lifted everybody's mood, which is just as well because tomorrow will be the biggest day yet on Nickelodeon's Camp Orange. Well done, everyone. Great day, Camp Orange. Should I give yourselves a round of applause? Now, Jack's not with us tonight. He's got the flu. Mick, is he all right? Oh, well, he's getting there. Is he? I've got to tell you, yesterday, I took a random badge of bravery off you and I feel absolutely terrible about it because I walked the spooky path with you. But I'm going to give it back to you because today Jack came out and he competed with you even though he was sick. So let's give him a round of applause even though he's not here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to give you guys that random badge back. There you go. Now today you chose the question mark in archery and you didn't know what it was. It could have been a bucket of goo, but you said, nah, we'll go the question mark. So for that, you're getting another random badge of bravery. Well done, guys. There you go. Club sandwich in the archery. You hit the bullseye. You also hit the splat six times. And you were jibbed because the girls were pretty good. So for that, you're getting a teamwork badge. Well done, fella. What can I say? Today, I think we've got to call it DJ Day because you won the ropes course and then in archery, you took a shot, it went off into the bushes. You took another shot, it went off into the ground. And then all of a sudden, Demi steps up yeah. and bang, it's the splat in the middle of the splat oh. on the target. So for that, you won Game Orange. Well done, guys. Yeah. You're running out of room here on the board. Where do you want me, where would you like it? Tell me where you'd like me I'm to put this. I'm in the this. middle. About yeah. there? Yeah. You're missing one at the moment, aren't you? Yes, yes. In the Champions Challenge, you just fired along, along that course. I've never seen anything so fast. So for that one, you win the Champions Challenge badge as well. <laughs> Frizz and Skits, when we were doing the archery, we handed out the arrows, and you guys had ten arrows, but you're only supposed to have nine, and you said to me, we've got an extra arrow. So you're going to get a random badge of sportsmanship for that. Well done, very honest. You could have... <laughs> You could have used the extra arrow and won the game. We're on two and a half. We have no room either, you know. There's, like, no room up there for us. With the larger badges worth twice the value of the smaller ones, the DJs have a clear lead. Club Sandwich and the Bush Bashes are equal second, and Frizz and Skits are oh, a little behind. But tomorrow is another day, and nothing is certain. Now, we've got to talk about the dodgy tent, so Club Sandwich. You... We're not sleeping in the dodgy tent. You are. We issue a challenge. Me sleep in the dodgy yep. tent? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. The bush yeah. bashers yeah. can't back out. Oh. None of the bush bashers back out. you got to go in this one day. Am I a bush basher now, am I? You're a bush bash, mate. That means you, you gave us our badge. You. you know I've got this sort of back... Oh, back no. No. I, I can't sleep on the ground, so I'll... Oh, chicken, 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 Now, tonight I'm in the dodgy tent. We're going to do the camp sign off and I'm going to join you guys. Okay, here, here we go. All right, here we go. to help Will do the rope climb. I'm just glad that I didn't have to do it. The rope climb was pretty scary. On the um, practice go, it was really weird because Julie couldn't do it properly. Although he didn't win, 
I was really proud that I got up there and did this the best I could. On the real ropes course, she was like zooming like a rocket and the archery was hilarious because we, <laughs> we didn't even hit the middle once. On the practice goes, I couldn't get one. I went pretty well in the archery, but Andrew went better. He got a um, bullseye. I was just amazed when I got the bullseye. It was really funny that we even tried to do it because I hate archery. I'd never even done it before. We're coming second in the standings. Um, the DJs are going really well. They've got loads of badges. Everybody has come really close to be winning all the badges. I reckon the DJs are going to be a big competition for us tomorrow. We're equal second so far with um, with um, the bush bashes, so that's pretty good. In the end of the week, you're more relaxed with the people you're around, and it's just always fun. I want to win. Don't tell anyone. Challenging Dave to sleep in the Dodge tent was a really, really good idea because he should get a taste of his own medicine. Next time on the finale of Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, a boys versus girls showdown. Girls have the catching skill. Ow! There's one last chance for everyone in the final, mega, ultimate, grand challenge. There will be twist. After twist. After twist. As we name the ultimate Nick campers, don't miss the final Camp Orange. We are pumped. Multi-pumped. Triple fully. I fully pumped. We're fully, fully, fully pumped. Oh, yeah. No, we're yeah. fully times ten plus one times a million and billion to infinity in pumped. There's grass in there. It's all lumpy. It's all lumpy. On Nick. Always wanted to play soccer with the pros? Well, now you can when you click on the Nick Shack and kick it with Weetbix. Head to nickelodeon.com.au and get soccer tips from legendary soccer and Weetbix kid Tim Cahill. Then take to the field and make Tim keep the ball in the air for as long as possible to get your name onto the high scores board. The player with the highest score will win a jersey signed by Tim himself. So stop dribbling and race to the Nick Shack and get ready to click it, kick it and win with Australia's favourite breakfast, Sanitary, Weetbix and Nickelodeon. I have you now. Star Wars Transformers. Mech mode or vehicle mode. The warriors change, but the battle for the galaxy rages on. Most impressive. Star Wars Transformers. Deep in the 100-acre wood, a surprise comes rolling in. It's Pooh's travelling treehouse. Let the fun begin. Lots of fun rooms, an elevator too, plus a big tree swing for Tigger or Pooh. Pooh's travelling treehouse comes with all of this. Other play sets sold separately from Fisher Price. Introducing concert masters of classic comedy, Drake and Josh. This half quartet, known as a duet, never miss a beat. The brothers display devastating dissonance, yet manage to morph into motifs of madness. The brothers clumsily crash into their crescendo, leaving you with a performance that will resonate long after viewing concludes. Drake and Josh, weeknights at 7 on Nickelodeon. Orange Camp Out. Previously on Camp Orange. Four teams of friends arrived at camp with one goal, to become the ultimate Nick campers. By day five, the mood of the camp had shifted dramatically. The DJs appeared unstoppable after winning both challenges. But this tension didn't last long as the campers cut loose. Later, Club Sandwich pulled a shifty and challenged me to spend a night in the dodgy tent. I did not hesitate to accept. 
Today in the grand finale of Nickelodeon's Camp Orange, it's boys versus girls in a wet showdown. And the teams compete in the mega obstacle course. It's far from over, because today there will be twist after twist after twist until we reveal which team will be crowned the ultimate Nick Campers. This is Camp Orange, the final day. The dodgy tent, oh, nothing to it. You guys, that is the dodgiest tent ever. We know. We have to see it's the taste day. of your own medicine. Uh, morning, campers. Morning, Dave. Morning, Dave. Did you all sleep well last night? Yeah. 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 Gotta tell you, that dodgy tent's rough. You've made some people sleep in there. Yeah, but I didn't know I was gonna have to sleep in there. Be prepared for everything. Camp Orange is all about mystery. But guys, it's the last day at Camp Orange, so we're all going to have a good day. Have you been having a good time? Yeah! You guys all entered here to become TV stars, and I've got to tell you, you've all done that. You've all been fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah! Now, frizz and skits after those troubles with the tent. On day one, you've really pulled through and done a great job. Bush bashers. Jack, you've had the flu, you've been out, but you guys have still battled on, and you've done a fantastic effort. Club sandwich. You got to meet your idols, Tony and James from Savo. Was that good? Yeah, it was wicked as. DJs, you've been unstoppable the whole camp. You've just been getting badge after badge after badge, but today you could be stopped because it is the final day. And there are extra badges, extra awards, and, get this, extra prizes. Yeah! All right, the final day at Camp Orange. Let's go, guys. So let's take a look at what's happened so far on Camp Orange. Each day here, the teams have competed for badges in two major challenges, the Champions Challenge and Game Orange, or Go. On day one, Club Sandwich won the first Champions Challenge by pitching the best tent, just edging out the bush bashers. In the afternoon, the DJs, with Julia blindfolded, picked up the first Go badge. On day two, Will summoned just enough courage to plant Club Sandwich's team flag on the ball in the leap of faith and win their second Champions Challenge in a row. I was like the most terrified out of everyone. I don't know how I did it. Then in Game Orange, Frizz and Skits combined sliding and puzzle solving to take their first major badge. On day three, while working alongside the DJs, the Bush Bashers finally picked up a Champions Challenge badge in the Message in a Bottle. But they didn't do so well in Best Buds, which was won by the DJs. On day four, Club Sandwich impressed judges, Tony and James, with the silliest song and scored big time. That night, the spooky part. No, there's nothing freaky. Come on. <laughs> and the DJ solved the mystery of a missing girl's name. What does it say? Beverly! Day five was DJ's day. Demi scored a miracle bullseye and a game orange badge. Oh! While Julia flew across the ropes course, taking the champion's challenge with her. She's like a jet, rocket, whatever you want to call it. You. Today the campers have one last champion's challenge. And this one comes with a twist. Campers, you might have already worked out by the flags. It's going to be boys versus girls. Yeah! The objective of this challenge is to fill this container up with as much water as you can using 60 water bombs. This is how it works. One team member is going to be at the top of that cliff. They're going to launch water bombs off that cliff to the other team members who each have a bucket. You can catch the water bomb in your hands and put it in the bucket or you can catch it in the bucket. It's up to you. Once you've caught the water in the bucket, you've then got to race to this container and fill it up. The team of teams that fills it up using the 60 water bombs to the highest line is going to be the winners. I'll also add there are two Champions Challenge badges up for grabs. Oh, yeah. One for each team. Be even. Also, the winning team is going to get an inflatable common kayak each. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Each. We, 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 we have to win. We have to win. Okay, guys, you ready to do this? Let's go. Girls have the catching skill because we play netball. Netball, yeah. I'm glad so that we're working with the boys. 
Yeah. I didn't play anything, but I still have the <laughs> I just have the natural catching skills. Have you guys got your strategies worked out? Yeah! Who's going to win, boys or girls? Yeah! Yeah! Guys, I'm going to step back on my call, begin the game. Ready? On your marks. Get set. Go! Well, Alicia and Andrew are going to have to throw straight. Each team has to make their balloons count. Nice catch, Demi. Speed it up. The netball skills appear to be kicking in. Oh! The containers are starting to fill. Oh, it's looking level at this stage. There's a high bomb from Alicia and an even higher bomb from Andrew. Bang! Bang! Very close. You don't have to catch two at once. Every balloon dropped means there's less chance of winning. Just remember there's a Champions Challenge badge for each winning team. Use the bucket, not your face. There's great accuracy from Andrew. He knows how to throw a ball. The boys are a well-oiled machine. They don't want the DJs to win again. Demi, you're missing them all over the place. The boys appear to be pulling ahead, but it's anyone's game. Looks like the boys are leading at this stage. Girls, you get a hurry on. Jack has got a great catching technique there. Nice catch, Julia. The girls are going to have to do better if they want to catch up. We don't want this to happen. Alicia's starting to throw like a champion. Some of those water bombs are landing too close to the wall. Oh, last few water bombs left. Looks like the boys have this one in the bag. Demi's egging them on. Demi wants this one. We've got heaps left, boys. The boys have taken their time. Slow and steady now. They've got all the water bombs in the world. Girls, you finish your water bombs, boys. You've got a few left. Oh, nice catch. I last one. Yes. Yeah. Well done, everybody. That's it. You two up there, come down here and we'll measure these containers. Well done. Well done, everyone. Was that fun? Yeah. Now we've got a measure to see who's got the most water in the containers. Let's have a look here. It looks pretty obvious who's taken out this one. Fellas, it looks like you're the winners of this Champions Challenge. And each team wins a Champions Challenge badge and you've all won an inflatable Coleman kayak. Well done, guys. Sorry about that, ladies. They had some good techniques there. Yeah, you're still winning. You're still winning. You're still, oh, you're still winning the leaderboard, but there's still another challenge, and it's going to be a long day. There's a lot of twists. I'm going to let you guys do whatever you want with this water, but let me step aside. Yeah, on me, on me, on me, on me, I guess yesterday we were all a bit disappointed, but we're still going good, and now yeah, we're back yeah. on top. We have no still chance. Yes, you can. No, we can't. You show they're going to do there us proud. there are lots of lots of twists. No, just shorts. They're going to do us proud. <laughs> Finally, as, the as DJ the blue got beaten. Yeah, yeah, good. As the blue fellas would say, pumped. Yes, we're pumped. Pumped. Well Before done. the blue were pumped, we're super pumped. 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 Coming up, the final Go Challenge helps to decide the ultimate Nick Campers. And the kids say goodbye to each other and Camp Orange. The Camp Orange Camp Out will be right back. This November, Nick is going to make some noise. Blasting off with two new Nick heroes. El Tigre, the crime fighting belt buckle twirler, nana rescue and super kid. Let's do it. And showbiz boy, Ricky Sprocket. He has his own cereal. Kyle takes on the Let's Just Play Challenge to get fit and healthy. Yeah. Then we'll turn it up a notch on the weekends with all three series of Camp Orange. There's no time for napping. This November on Nick. Blue, orange, four, go. Hyper Dash. Set up your target. It's the brain-busting memory game. You got Nick's target. Where you memorise colours and numbers. Awesome. 
You can challenge yourself, Team Micro Dash, or challenge your friends. No two games are ever the same with four different levels of difficulty. The ultimate memory game where the best brain wins. Hyper Dash, out now from Brits and Pieces. You thought surfing and snowboarding were cool? Then check this out. The all-new Ripstick. It's like nothing you've ever ridden. With the Ripstick, you don't even need to push. You just twist and go on two wheels. The killer flexing motion makes it the ultimate carving machine. So lay down some turns, carve the bowls, or even do grinds. The Ripstick, a seriously fun new ride. Now available at retailers nationwide. Take a ride through Spin City. Take the elevator up to test your road handling. Then you control the gear shift on the Spin City motorized lift. Spin City playset with motorized ramp and cool sounds. Cars and batteries not included. Hot Wheels, beat that. Introducing the world's biggest kid movie star, it's Ricky Sprocket. Being the number one movie star is the most glamorous thing ever. When his sister's not around, don't miss Ricky Sprocket, a brand new Nicktoon. You're back with the Camp Orange Campout. Camp Orange is about more than just the challenges. It's about the eight campers themselves. Four teams of best friends from different parts of Australia all coming together to experience a great time. I think it's about having fun and friendships. This, this is it. When we came around here, I didn't like what I saw because tents and me, I don't think they go together well. Just make it stand up. That's all we need to do. The yeah. teams have got to know each other, some better than others. Prison skits, I've got go about them. Michael and Jack, they don't know my name. I don't know what they call me, I forget, but something's done with D. Prison skits and Digger and that. Michael has a bad habit at talking, especially to the girls. Talking about their boyfriends, actually. He was saying it to all the girls. They were saying, yes, we do have boyfriends. And they go, why? Cool guy loves Chris. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. I don't know why they wrote it. Yeah. Once the teams opened up, the plotting began. Tonight we're going to put the big fake spider in the Tazzy Boys tent. Tonight, us boys, we might be sabotaging the girls' camp. <laughs> And this turned nasty, revealing some city versus country rivalry. Yeah, you can't do liquor. We call the bush bashers country liquors because they call us city slickers. But he licks the country to mark his territory. No. Have you seen a cow before? No! no. I got bashed up by a girl. Things were getting messy, and I decided to do something about it. The teams today are going to be the DJs and the Bush Bashers taking on Club Sandwich and Frizzin Skits. Now we know them a lot better and they're a lot nicer than we thought they were. They're not as mean to us anymore. The turnaround was obvious when Jack got sick. It's this one time where he's on Camp Orange and he gets sick. It was over Michael because he's yeah. got no teammates. I'd like it. Mick, if he was here. Yeah, yeah, we'd be Michael's partner if he needed it. While the others talked, I did join Mick on the spooky path. Dave's an adult, he's sensible, he's strong. Uh, uh, I'm already here. He's mature. This random badge of courage is going to go to me. I'm going to become the ultimate Nick camper. Watch, watch, keep your eyes on this. Hello. <laughs> When the DJs kept winning, the other campers felt the pressure. You just didn't want them to win another badge. But that wasn't the only thing affecting the teams. I'm missing home a little bit. Just being with our parents and stuff. When you have fun, it kind of takes away all the pain. Thank goodness for slime. <laughs> yeah! So you all came here as best friends. Has that changed anything? What about you guys, Club Sandwich? No, I'm not best friends with him anymore. <laughs> no, he's stupid. It's finished it? Yep. Demi and Julia, has this changed anything? Not really. You still going to be best friends? Yeah. Jack yes. and Mick, you guys were best friends when you came on the show. Are you still best friends? I've uh, seen his dirty habits. What are his dirty habits? He farts in the morning when he rolls over. No, he does. Too. He does too. Yeah. I do not. Are you guys going to go camping when you get back? No. No. Tandy and Alicia. Yeah. 
Are you still best friends after coming on no. Camp Orange? She chucked baked beans on my head for no reason. No, I thought it was the feathers. Come on, sir. I'll get you back. I love you, Sandy. Go away. And now that love is back in the air, it's time to get into the final Go Challenge and badge. And this one is the biggest yet. This is so cool. I thought this was wicked as. Good. Oh, it's so cool. I just want to get out there. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I knew it was that. I knew it because it was big and it was cool and it was awesome. All right, guys, this is our last game. Orange, you pumped? This one is a relay. I'll tell you how it works. The first team member is going to get a giant beach ball and roll it up this ramp, down the other side, and put it in this slot here. The trick is, you can't use your hands. Your hands have to be behind your back. If the ball comes off the ramp, you have to start again. Once you've completed that, you're going to have to jump in the sack and race across to the mud pit. Go under the nets and tag your teammate on the other side. Once you've tagged your teammate, your teammate goes over the obstacle course to the haystacks on the other side. Reach into the haystacks, grab your baton. Once you've grabbed your baton, grab your team colours on the pole and you'll be the winners. There is a go badge for the winners and a random badge for the runners up. There's also something else. The winning team is going to get two Trek 3700 mountain bikes. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah! Right. The last go badge is up for grabs. Let's go, guys. Yeah! On your mark. Get set. And the final game, Orange is away. Tandy's burst up the ramp and locks her ball in place first. What a great effort. She's going to hop across to the mud pit. The bush bashers are hot on the heels of prison skits. Tandy hops over to the mud pit. She's followed by Jack in second place. It's Tandy. It's Jack at this stage. It's prison skits followed by the bush bashers. Looks like Club Sandwich is in third. But Tandy's got a good lead at this stage. Alicia is first into the inflatable obstacle course, followed by Mick from the Bush Bashers. Mick has overtaken. If they win this, they could become the ultimate in campus. This could be the Bush Bashers. Mick is still in first place, followed by Alicia from Prison Skits. There's the tag from Will and Andrew. Alicia is desperately trying to regain the lead. Mick keeps pulling away. Come on, Daddy. Will's in the inflatable obstacle course. He loves it. He's going like mad. Mick does a face first slide. And the DJs haven't even entered the inflatable obstacle course. Mick goes straight for hay. There's Alicia. Alicia's going to be second to the hay, but Mick's got a great lead at this stage. All you need to do is find that bat, and this one's yours, and you could become the ultimate Nick Campus. This is an exciting race. There goes Alicia. Alicia's at the hay, followed by Will. Mick still hasn't found his bat, and Alicia's throwing it everywhere. There comes Julia. Julia's made up a bit of ground. Alicia. Alicia's looking for the baton. Mick. Mick's a blind it, but so is Julia. This could be anyone's. Everyone's level at this stage. Uh, Alicia's found the baton. Alicia's found it. The game is for prison skits. Prison skits win the final game, Orange. The Bush Bash is coming second, and there's a random batch for second, so Camp Orange could be anyone's. Will still ferreting around in the hay. Alicia. You've done it. You won the big one. And I'm just, I'm just like, come on. That was so good. Oh my God. <laughs> you were really good. A fantastic finish from Prison Skits, and they win the two mountain bikes. Everyone's happy for them. What a race, Alicia and Dan. You won the race. You're taking home the bikes. Bush bashes. So close runners. You get a random badge for that. Let's meet at the gathering where we're going to find out who are the ultimate Nick campers. See you there, guys. Final game orange was really fun. You always saved the best to last. I liked it, yeah. I just thought I might as well give it all I've got because this is the last thing I'm going to do here. Michael was beating me down the slide, but I got the baton and I started shaking my flag and I was so happy. And it was really great to win a bike. I guess the city really slickers need to do something in their life to <laughs> give them a bike.
give him a boss and ride around on the streets. It feels really good to win something. Yeah. <laughs> well, last night we were in the lead, but there have been quite a few badges given away yeah. today. I think there'll be a few half badges handed out as well. Yeah. Somehow I think that the little half badges might be worth a tiny bit more. Yeah. I hope so. I hopefully. Welcome everybody to the final Camp Orange gathering. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Now you guys have all worked so hard, so you're all going to get a prize pack. Yeah! Do you want to know what the prize pack includes? Yeah! In the prize pack, you're all going to get your own three-man tent, a sleeping bag, and as well, you're going to get a karaoke machine so you guys can practice your silly songs. Now, prison skits, the tent does come with instructions, I'll point that one out. Let's award the badges for today. The first set of badges is the Champions Challenge badge, and that goes to the two groups of fellas for winning the Champions Challenge. Is that all right there for you guys? Yeah. Right there. And what about there for you, the bush bashers? Yeah, no problem. Now, you both work so well together, so as well as that, you're getting a teamwork badge each. Oh, yeah. Well done, guys. There, is that good for you guys? Yeah, yeah that's wrong. How's that? Now, Game Orange was won by Frizzin Skits. Well done. Yay! So here's your Game Orange badge. Where would you like it on the end there? Yes. Oh, it's hard. You and the runners up, no the Bush Bashers, get a random badge. Yay! Well done, guys. That puts the Bush Bashers on five and a half. Frizzin Skits on three and a half, Club Sandwich on five, and the DJs on six, meaning there's only half a point between the Bush Bashers and the DJs. Now, I've got one badge left. And this badge is going to the team who's got the most big badges overall. Well done to DJ. Oh! So what does this mean? Oh, that's the awesome. ultimate Nick Camper for Camp Orange are the DJs. Yeah! Yeah! Come up here and get your Golden Billy Award. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. There's one each. There. Give him a round of applause. Go and sit back on your logs because I've got some more to tell you. Gotta kiss it. Yeah. Now, did I mention something about a grand prize? No. There is a grand prize. <laughs> I really can't tell you two, like as well as getting the tent, the sleeping bag, and the karaoke machine, Nickelodeon is going to come around to your house, pick you guys up, take you on a shopping spree. <laughs> where you'll be decked out in all the gear. Then you'll be taken to a professional makeup artist for a complete oh makeover. God, but then you'll have nowhere to go. So Nickelodeon's going to throw a party for you and 20 friends at your house, where James and Tony are going to come along. You'll have all the food, all the games, all the music you could ever dream of. Go and buy us. You're all invited. <laughs> Wait. And just, Nickelodeon's just going to bring along a film crew so it can be turned into TV special and all your friends can be TV stars. Yeah. As well as that, you're both going to get VIP tickets to the 2005 Kids' Choice Awards in Australia. Yeah. Let's give the DJs a big round of applause. Campers, it's been a pleasure camping with all you fine young people. I've had a fantastic time. So let's give everyone a round of applause. Before we head home, let's do one last Camp Orange sign-off. Three, two, one. Camp Orange has made our friendship stronger because we've had to put up with each other for a whole week. And in the end of the week, you're more relaxed with the people you're around and it's just always fun. I'm going to miss all the people I've met. The other teams are pretty good. I don't have a favourite. I don't have favourites. Our favourite team is, the, is Frisbee Skits because they're girls and we get along really well. But I do like those Frisbee Skits. Pretty cool. Camp Orange is different than where we're from is because there's different species of animals. I'm hearing different birds. 
Like back in Tassie, you don't hear these sort of birds. Like this is really strange. When the strange ones go like, Ooh, wah, wah, wah. it's not true that we were flying in the tent. I don't know if Michael did it through the night, but um, no, not while I was awake. Ooh, doo -doo. Like laser sounds and everything. It's really weird. I lost my tooth today. There it is. That's my beautiful tooth. What are you doing? Roasting some marshmallows. Oh, that looks fun, don't eh? They're yeah, perfect. We're going to put the fire out. Yeah, so close your eyes, guys. The Camp Orange Countdown continues next weekend from noon on Saturday. Be there. Weekend Mornings, brought to you by Lego Star Wars. The complete saga. Play the video game. Amazing things can be found anywhere. Amazingly, naturally, Sadie's next. Attention, Captain! This November, Nick brings you all three series of Camp Orange. You! Relive the good times, the not so good, and the best ever times. Next weekend, series two, Slimy Hollow. The Camp Orange Campout. Next weekend from noon on Saturday and 8 on Sunday on Nickelodeon.